Well, here is a look at our chip stacks around the table. Eric Person sitting down with enough to buy up the other stacks. I mean, he's got more dough than a bakery out there, over 600,000. Eliam Servich and Jeremiah Williams, the other two six-figure stacks on the table. We're not playing seven deuce, right? I will play seven deuce. <laughs> I'll do that. What should it be, like a 1K a person, 2K a person? I, I don't know. What, I don't care what you guys want to do. The blinds are going to be two and 400 with a big blind ante of 400. Are you guys want to do 1K and, and last person what? Then? Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, it shouldn't it be like five and one, probably? They want to play the seven deuce game. So, okay. so like everyone folds, it's 500. But if you're the last person to fold against the seven deuce, it's 1,000. Oh, OK. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Does everyone want to do it? Or? I mean, I would prefer not to, but I don't care. Like, if, I don't know why Seth wouldn't want to accommodate the recreational player in the game. Let's say five and one. Let's keep it light. Yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it small. Five and one, then. I just want to know what we're playing for. Generally, if the recreational player wants to gamble on silly stuff, you just go along with it. I mean, the guy did sit down with 600,000, so uh, Seth very much showing his uh, tournament lineage here. No raise before the flop. Nine, six, three. Justin now with middle pair. That's 500. Seth has just enough to come along for a call. Queen on the turn will give Justin two pair. Seth checks once more. Justin fires out a bet of 1,400, and that's all he needs to win the pot. Winning. Yeah, Justin Young. I bluffed him. I got it, guys. Out of Colorado, 41 years old, plays tournaments, he plays cash. Takes down hand number one. <laughs> Plus, these chips are not good shuffling chips. They're like a couple quick folds into Seth with a sixth, and he will raise it up. Justin, three betting the King Jack suited up to 3,000. And now the non professional Eric with a 9 6 is tempted to call this with his junk hand. Blood. Yeah, this ain't blood. No, blood starts at 10,000. Potential blood. Potential blood. There's chum in the water. So heads up between Justin and Eric. And it is a king 9 9 flop. Bad board for Justin here. Hard to put Eric on a 9. No blood. But look at this. Justin checks it back. This doesn't count, right? Eric with the bet in the dark on the turn for 4,000. Justin. We'll make the call. Come on, man. You got the ace of diamonds in your hand? I don't know. I just feel confident. Eric, 20,000 in the dark on the river. Hey, what do you do here if you're Justin Young? I mean, you're smart. You know how to lay down a bunch of big hands. <laughs> this is TV. You're in the show, Justin. I am in the show. And I got the best seat in the house. <laughs> Still what I'm doing. Don't worry. He's letting it go. Probably should. I mean, it's not like you have an ace or a king. Yeah, you're right. I don't. No, good call. You have a king. Yeah. What's, what's the king do here? Nothing. I mean, <laughs> king's a nine's ace kicker. I mean, maybe you're playing for half the pot. <laughs> I know. But half the pot's pretty big. I guess you don't, you're not raising me here. You don't have jack queen. Yeah, I, sure wish, I wish I had the balls to just raise you right here. Well, reach down. <laughs> there it is. Show me the king. There it is. Queen. Oh, man. Oh, such a big <laughs> hand. Such a big <laughs> hand. Now, look at this. Eric's just going to show him the six. <laughs> going to keep him guessing a little bit. Oh, look at all these chocolates. <laughs> so nice. That nice was, hand, nice hand. That was almost blood. You're playing well today. <laughs> I can tell. I'm the oldest guy here. Let me tell you about all this wisdom I've accumulated over the years, Ralph. Yeah? Yeah. I've heard a lot of it already. If though. you own stuff, <laughs> it's better than not owning stuff. And if you really have the balls to fire three bullets, you can become a god. Or you could go broke. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Eric dropping knowledge on the table. Self-made man has sat down with enough money to buy the stacks of the rest of the table. Seth Davies, very accomplished player, has jack nine of diamonds. Comes in with a raise. 
quick call from Justin. Definitely came to play some hands today. Eric with the nice looking ace five of clubs will come along. And Ali for 600 more will play eight six offsuit. So four ways to this flop. And it is queen king seven. Second pair for Justin puts him in the lead. Seth with a gut shot to the 10. Everyone else, not much happening. And they're all gonna check. We're going to the turn. And of spades on the turn will complete the straight for Seth Davies. Holding a straight to the king. He will check one more time here, playing it crafty. Justin now will take this bait and bet 1,800. Two folds and now back to Seth. 18. Seth Davies, 33 years old, out of Bend, Oregon. He's a WPT champion in season 15. Yep, I was at that final table. That's right. And I lost a flip to Seth. <laughs> Seth now, check raising to 7,500. Justin will make the call with the pair and the open ender. Six on the river, so Seth looking good. Oh, and he's gonna push it all in. Oversized bet here. All in. This isn't the tournament, Seth. I'm not allowed to do that. You, you can do that, but I should have read the rules. Seth is betting 2x pot with the second nuts here. I mean, he could always just run right into ace jack. So I'm a little surprised by the choice and sizing from Seth, but it does work out for him. Nope, there is no blood. Oh, you showed you seven yeah, here, become a legend. Can't. Do it. You can't do it. Uh, Why can't anyone just show me a bluff? Come on. I did. You didn't show me. You yeah, showed me a six of hearts. Yeah, look at cards. Maybe I had the nine of hearts. Vince, the most impressive part about Eric having his guns out right now is how cool we keep it in the HyperX eSports arena. Oh, no it's jacket yeah, weather no in there, and he is just suns out, guns out right now. I wish I would have brought a jacket. I got, uh, I got like a sweater. Mm. May not fit you. Pretty big. Not a big sweater guy. <laughs> He'd rather be cold <laughs> than wear your <laughs> sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's a little frosty, and Eric doesn't seem to mind. Wear your Christmas sweater. Eric is just called with the deuces. Seth calls as well with Jack Ace suited. To the flop. Justin completes 7-3. So four ways to this flop. Deuce on the flop. Three of a kind for Eric Person. Check. This guy is hitting big early on. Bet's a mere thousand. Coward. Have the waiter. His opponents don't have anything that can pay him off wow. with. Wow. And he will table a set. This is just how my day goes for eight hours at a time. Just so you guys know. <laughs> Get in front of this freight train, see what happens. That's your playing style, no set, no bet, right? What? For, for your playing style, is that what you wrote down? No set, no bet? I wrote, um, I wrote that I'm tight, solid, <laughs> and people think I'm loose aggressive. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. It's got to be on, Eric. Let's take a look at his cards. It's a 9-7. Finally has to fold a hand. Raise. There's Ali, Raise. very accomplished pro out of Bosnia, raising it up with his king of diamonds. And he's gonna get Jeremiah to make this call with queen 10. Flop is a queen, Jack Deuce. Jeremiah hits queens. Yes, he does, but Ali has more equity in this pot with all of these outs to the 10, ace, king, and diamond. So he'll bet 700, Jeremiah with the call. Let's see if Ali can hit his flush here or straight. Nope, seven of spades. Jeremiah, check it again. Well, on these irrelevant turns where the preflop razor has the advantage, they often follow through with a very large bet on the turn, and Ali seems to agree, betting twice the pot here with the ace-king of diamonds. 8,000 is the bet. Jeremiah, quick and confident call. So Ali still needs one of his outs to take this pot off Jeremiah. Eight of hearts doesn't help Ali. Jeremiah 
Checking again. And now Ali actually has quite a bad hand to bet because he blocks a lot of the missed draws that Jeremiah would give up with. Queen. So a nice check from Ali there. Jeremiah wins a nice pot with top pair. What was it called? This is sick how he checks. 21 years old, lives in Vegas. Former Pokemon champion, Pokemon. Got to catch them all, Vince. Oh, thank you. I do? That's a drink holder? But he invests in crypto as well. This is Jeremiah Williams. And he raises guinea pigs. Fascinating guy, actually. Well, keep torturing souls, making friends. Cheers. Cheers. I have to put this in my special drink holder under the table. It's been soldered on. Oh, man. Let's just grab the right chips for once in my life. Eric with the seven deuce now. That's too much, sorry. Trying to win his own game. Get revenge. <laughs> Get an extra 500 from everybody at the table and 1,000 from the last person to fold. Right behind, Ralph Wong sitting on ace jack. We're drinking. Yeah, Gonna make a three bet to oh, 5,000. <laughs> oh, Ralph. <laughs> Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Eric takes a sip of his cocktail. Now you gotta see what you have. And flicks in the necessary chips. He's gonna try and win this one with seven deuce and collect that seven deuce bounty from everyone around the table. Check raise. Flop, it's a seven, five, three, so nice for Eric. The binding? Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? He wisely checks oh. back here and turns top pair of jacks. I knew it was 6,000 that time. So Eric, who wanted the money to go in on the flop, now will fire 6,000. Ralph with top pair, top kicker, a decision between calling and raising. Just gonna call. See if Eric can make something happen here. No, nothing hits. Four of hearts. I check it. Bit of a scary river here, putting three to a flush and four to a straight on the board. Ralph can't be confident that Eric didn't get here with a six, so he will check behind. Defense? Defense. Turn that <laughs> You good check on the flop. <laughs> Why didn't you fall for it, Ralph? There you go, Ralph. You guys are welcome. God. <laughs> Why didn't he continuation bet? It's standard. He raised pre-flop on the re-raise with no pair. He has to bet the flop. Would you tell him that? I would, but unless he knows he's going to turn a pair. Mm. <laughs> That's the difference. He knew he was turning a pair. How does Ralph do that? It makes 10 grand off me. That's blood. <laughs> I knew that was, that was your board. Yeah. <laughs> Good job not betting the river. <laughs> Be serious. <laughs> for me, for me. <laughs> I don't see how come I win with all this leaks in my game. All right, so the first little hit by Eric Person. Only pot he's lost so far. I just win big pots. That's the, those are the most important ones I'm to a win. Home run hitter. Like, big pots. Don't worry, Ali. We'll get it all in and I'll beat you. It's going to be fun. That would suck. No, no. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. You will have a lot of fun doing it. You won't like the result. It's like working <laughs> out. No, wait. You like the result. You don't like it. It's the opposite. Yeah. It's <laughs> opposite whatever it's very similar in some way and he's gonna raise with his jack ten of hearts I'm sorry he just called it and Ralph Wong will raise with a king queen you think about his hand range here now Seth with ace jack says yeah I'm in I'm better at it Justin with a king, queen of diamonds, oh, also calling. And Jeremiah has to call with ducks. <laughs> Look at this, five-way action. Right. Ali, you want your cards back? No. Okay. <laughs> Here. 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 Oh, baby, let's oh, go. Oh, this is even, this is more fun than Way more playing fun. his own right, cards. Yeah. They got reads on Ali, not you. <laughs> Just wink at us, Ali. 8,400 in this pot going to the flop, and it is 10, 9, 6, two spades and a heart. So Eric takes the lead with top pair. He's gonna bet 5,000 here. Raise it. Oh, Ralph, I'm sorry. Yeah, f you, coming after you, boy. <laughs> Ralph in a bind here. He does have two over cards and a gut shot to the nuts, but he lacks a spade and has three players to act behind him. I mean, there's some guy with a spade in the spot. He's doing the eye blink, but that's like calculating. You see that? People do it all the time. 
And Ralph Got makes you. his call. I'm gonna see if Ali's a good sweater. If you lose his hand, no more sweater. <laughs> you have to earn your information. These two are heads up yet again. Going to the turn. It is a nine of diamonds, so no improvement for Ralph. What'd you start with? Eric assessing his stack. You're like, you're like 30 something. He bluffs you with nothing. <laughs> Ralph had no interest. I probably should have folded fast. That's not true. Well, he went from Pokemon now to poker. He's 21 years old. Make sure you put in the thing. I haven't been able to see your cards. They've been putting it in my ear telling me that you're not, that I can't see your cards. Oh, they have them? Yeah, they've been telling what? me. You haven't heard that? No. Yeah, he, they can't see your cards, dude. You're kidding. No, they, they, told they, they told me, dude. They Riz. told me to tell you. You're not Mike Riz. like I am. Eric hazing the freshman of the table here. Seriously, you gotta put that in the box, man. Trying to prank him into believing that the producers are talking to him in his ear and that Jeremiah doesn't have his earpiece in. Too far out of here. Oh, this? Yeah, you gotta like. Yeah, they're telling Ralph too. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't you, they you're... just tell me? You don't have the thing in your ear? No. <laughs> what? What? You're not micing oh, you, you oh, oh, okay, to okay, you? okay, 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 okay. I got it now. I got it. <laughs> there you go. Jeremiah finally Man. catching on, realizing he's been had. Jeremiah, the preflop razor against Ali and Justin, they are the two that connect on this board. King A5. Ali just gonna call. Justin, with the raise, will make it 5,300. That's enough for Jeremiah, but Ali has to like what he sees here. Bottom two for Justin, top and bottom for Ali. 54. So Ali will make this call for 4,000 more. Bringing the tenant clubs on the turn, which creates a variety of draws. Justin's gonna bet again, 7,200. Ali in front makes the smooth call, going to the river, and three of clubs. So Ali looking good here. Kings and fives, but Justin makes a solid $14,000 bet. And you see Ali deliberating. He knows that the three flush coming in isn't ideal, but probably has too much hand to drop out here. So you see him shaking his head. I might beat some value, actually. Two pair. Which ones? Eights and fives? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, when you're on bottom two pair on the flop, the last thing you want to hear is, which ones? When you get called on the river. Wow, look cooler. Sick call. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Little shade from Justin in the direction of Ali. Two blood. That's what makes our heart pump. I'm glad it's not my blood. I almost bought them out. I'm so close. I thought I, I, was, I thought I'd bluff them out there. Pretty sick bluff. Ali looking good. Very advanced move you got there. I thought he was leaning fold the whole time. I didn't think I needed to talk anymore. You thought he called 14,000 with one pair? Yeah, no, obviously not. I was trying to bluff him off two pair. Oh. Justin throwing some curve balls Eric's way. Lying about his intentions. Jeremiah, the ace nine of spades. We'll come in for a thousand. I'm not getting in your way. You scare me sometimes, Eric. Yeah, my girl and I watch all Eric and Ralph <laughs> both go out, but Ali the picks up eights, likes it, and makes and the call. Like... Seth, nope. So two-way action. Ace nine versus a pair of eights. And the flop is an eight, five, four, three of a kind for Ali. He's gonna check and try to trap. Yeah, Ali's starting to hit a rush here. Jeremiah wisely checks behind with the overs and back for a flush draw, but finds himself in some trouble on this nine turn that gives him top pair, top kicker. As we can see, drawing dead against Ali's set of eights. Jeremiah will bet 2,000 into 2,800, and Ali potentially about to kick the price up. Yes, he will, makes it 9,000. You know, if Jeremiah could fold now, it would be Saving himself a lot of harm going forward, but no, he's gonna make this call. And the 
the river card. Disaster. Oh. Top two pair for Jeremiah. Show tunes going off in Ali's head, as you like to say, Vince. <laughs> 31. And there's the bet, 31,000. 1.5x the pot. And an instant call from Jeremiah. Uh, nice hands. Oh, uh, that'll build some character, young man. What has happened? Uh, we just saw bloody. We just saw blood. I didn't even see this hand at all. <laughs> when he said 31, I was like, oh, 3,100. I'm like, and I look over, he just snap calls 31,000. Ali going with the crafty slow play on the flop and turn gets the absolute maximum from Jeremiah. Well played hand. You need a drink. Get him a vodka cranberry, a two Belvedere cranberries, please. <laughs> two. Ali going up to 1,000. The ace queen of clubs. Justin behind with kings. We'll three bet to 3,000. Oh, sure Eric will let that one go. Ali makes the call. So could this be comeback time for Justin? Got the big kings. Here comes the flop. And it's a king, six, three. Justin hits three of a kind. And he's going to bet out 2,500. And Ali has just enough to continue here. Three to a flush, three to a straight. Every now and then his ace queen high is good, so he does make the call. And the eight of clubs should keep him around to the river. Now with the nut flush draw. Justin, of course, not gonna let up. That's 8,500. making this call going down to the river. Justin would love to see a board pairing river, maybe one that brought in one of those flush draws so he could get paid. It's an ace. Oh, what a brilliant card for Justin. Ali making top pair, top kicker. Going to be tough to get away on this board. Justin betting 17-5, not trying to go too big all at once. And if I'm in Ali's shoes, you've got me for that 17-5. This is just not a river I can fold. Set. So he does call reluctantly and receives the bad news. But Justin, who's getting a little frustrated with Ali always having the best hand earlier, takes most of his losses back from Ali in that pot with top set of kings. I'm not gonna let you do you're like aces or something. That was well needed for <laughs> Justin <laughs> Young. Yeah. <laughs> Moving to the next one, a couple folds. <laughs> Seth goes away and back on Justin with a little momentum. He's got a pair of aces. Whoa. Ooh, we're going back to back here, Vance. First Kings now aces, thousand from Justin. And right behind him, Jeremiah going to be in some trouble with Ace King in the small blind. He is going to three bet here, up to 4,500. Look at this, Eric in the big blind has Ace Jack. I think most players would drop out here, but Eric we know likes to get to some flops. Oh, Jeremiah might overvalue hands a little bit. Are you kidding me? Very loose call if you should make it. Justin saying, do it, do it, do it. I know exactly what your range is in this spot. Look at this. You're not going to believe I'm laying this down. Then muck it. Eric is going to get out of the way. Discipline fold there. What's his range? That's all right. Got to see. That's my range. Oh, yeah. 50? Yeah. Top 50 to oh, start. 50. Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Looking yeah. to see how much Jeremiah started the hand with. A little over 100 big blinds. Dustin, going to four bet to 13,000. So now what will Jeremiah do? Call and see a flop or move it in pre-flop? Come on. He's going to go all in. Twice. Twice is good. Aces. I, uh, I'll be reloading. Yeah. Let me tell you, I, I bet you guys anything you want, no ace nice, of flop nice on either yeah. board. Uh, you I believe you. <laughs> well, into the chip purse for Jeremiah. Realizes he's way behind. They're going to run it twice. Here's the first one.
king, nine deuce. Anyone fold a king? Or a diamond? <laughs> Some possibilities for Jeremiah here. We see him go up to 15%. Jeremiah with a small chance to get half the pot here if he can find a king. I, uh... But no, a four on the river. So now even less likely that he will win this second half of the pot. Perhaps he could hit a Broadway. But not after this flop. Justin, the only one with a club. King on the turn. Oh, but he has life <laughs> as we go to the river. There is one king left in the deck. Three of hearts on the river. That's it. No help for Jeremiah, and he does get stacked. I'm in for another 100. Justin is another even 100. now. Justin Young, <laughs> who was our early loser in this game, now well out in front. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. Blinds are two and four hundred, with a big blind ante of four hundred. And we see a couple folds into Justin Young. Raise. He's got king ten, and he has raised to a thousand. Eric makes the call with five four of spades, and Ralph comes along with pocket sixes from the big blind. Eric Person, casino mogul, loves the action. And the flop is a queen, 10, six. Making three of a kind for Ralph. Tens for Justin. Justin, a little bet of 1,400 here with second pair. Ralph likely to kick up the price. Ralph is a former sales manager for the Washington Wizards. Makes it 4,500. Justin was stuck early on, looking irritable, but now a couple big hands has him a big winner. That's nice enough. And he's gonna make a solid lay down here. Yeah, Bud Light, I guarantee it. I wouldn't mind like a Modelo. You should drink a Modelo, yeah, you know, Ralph. Yeah, I'll get one with so. yeah, it. Two Modelos, please. Now you see in tournaments, they don't drink as much. No. As, you know, it's long term. You gotta really grind it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> I cover that. Cash out. games, people drink because they can get drunk they can and if they get stuck or they go broke, they can leave. And it's more of a social setting. Than a tournament. Plus, you don't want to seem like the guy that's just going to be the nit that sits at the table, exactly. won't drink, won't give action. Exactly. You got to play along a little, Vince. <laughs> 65,000. <000. laughs> Ali with the three deuce surprisingly kicks it up to 1,600. Ralph makes the call. Well, we are playing the seven deuce game here, Vince, but not the three deuce game. So I'm surprised Ali wants to put more money in this pot. 10, 6, 7 on the flop. Check, check here. Ace of diamonds on the turn. A good one for Ali to represent as the preflop raiser, especially having checked back the flop. Quite plausible he would play ace high hands this way. So he will bet 2,400 into this pot. And Ralph, with just a gut shot, going to drop out there. There is Eric, he's Whoa. gonna take a breather now. Yeah, Eric a little more into drinking than playing right now, just dropped out with queen nine of diamonds. We haven't seen him fold a hand like that all night. Justin here, limping in ace 10. 16. And Jeremiah with the seven deuce, trying to collect some extra money from around the table in our seven deuce game. Yeah, they're playing a little side pot. Seven deuce game, if you win with that, you get a little bonus. Flop is at queen eight three. Justin, big winner at the table, is going to check. And Mr. Seven Deuce going to bet here. You have Seven Deuce? Nah, don't tell me. Seven Deuce. Dang, on it. Pay up. I don't think you I had to do that. Makes you proud, you know, if you can win with a Seven Deuce. I had way the best stand, and I still think I saved money. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I would have had to battle way too hard with my hand, and I don't think I'd, not a chance I'd get there. Now, Justin was stuck early on, and then he made a comeback. He had kings that worked out great, and then aces back to back, and now he's a big winner. Ali not going to play Seth here with king, ten of clubs. We'll raise it up. Jeremiah with a pair of nines here. 
He re-raises. Eric, the suited ace deuce. Makes the cold call out of the big blind. Seth will also come along with king, ten, and club. So everybody with something pretty good heading to this flop. And it is jack, six, deuce. Two clubs and a spade. Jeremiah's gonna check it. It's like, I'm either gonna win or you're gonna shove, Jeremiah. I hate this hand. Says he <laughs> hates the hand as he gets his chips out. What an interesting guy. I gotta protect him. Pretty much of a tell. 94. 94. That's not protecting much. He's trying to tell everybody at the table he has jacks. And Seth, with a four flush, might see through that. It would be tough to drive Seth out. Seth not playing that deep relative to some of the other stacks at the table. On. And he is just going to go over the top. He doesn't believe, Eric. What is it? Roughly 29? Thir no, 33, 34. 34, 4. Very awkward right. situation for Eric here. He does actually have he the best hand. He made it 4,500. Jeremiah folded his ace king, I guess. Does he want to get sticky? I don't know. That'd be a terrible call. Let's just face facts. Yes, it would, Vince. I'd probably have you beat. I mean, I don't know, why wouldn't I be ahead here? It doesn't really make much sense. But would you shove on a flush draw? Would you shove on a flush draw? Probably. That's a fair answer, just so you know. That's a reasonable response. It's like, it doesn't give up a lot. I guess it would depend on the flush draw. I mean, but your comfortableness talking right now is also helpful. Right, Ali? I mean, you're picking up on that too, <laughs> aren't you? Eric over there building a psychological profile of Seth's behavior. <laughs> do you run things twice or you just do it once? I don't know, twice, yeah. Yeah, you're the toy. I mean, I got the jack, so it's like... Bought it for over 600000 and now he's lying. Yeah, I, you never... <laughs> you never have to worry about a guy calling after he starts lying about his hand. That takes a lot of the mystery out of the hand. Well, Seth takes that one down. I thought for sure you are going to have seven dudes. No, I do not have seven dudes. It'd be amazing if you had seven dudes. Oh, no. That would be real amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would show that. Get my money. Cost me, Jeremiah. Now I have to get revenge on you. You get back at him. Wow. That's so sick. But you're losing, so I'm going to skip you and go right to him. Hey. What, what tournament are you guys playing in tomorrow? 50K tomorrow, then 300K the next day. One How many more. people will do it? Like 20 or something? So it's a line of. 30 entries? Yeah, 30, it'll be over 20 for sure. Uh, is there like confirmed other people coming? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't wanna say it. <laughs> there is Seth Davies <laughs> yeah. with the pair of eights, making a raise. So Jeremiah has called. Would, would, would you two cross book? I mean, no. <laughs> Eric Person, A7 likes that. We'll make the call as well. He just tried to steer up something here. <laughs> Clown, man. Is, there's a chance I'm doing that. Ali will even <laughs> compete with a 9 7. What kind of game are you up to? Right? Four way action. Flop, and it's an 8 9 4. So oh, again, yeah. three of a kind with the eights. Third time tonight. Yep. This time, a bit more vulnerable with the 9 7 of Divins having outs to a diamond or a runner straight. Eric is going to get stuck in the middle here with the ace of diamonds, 7. Ellie comes along with a 9-7 of his own, and Seth gets to check-raise the whole world here. Don't do that, Seth. I'm not floating. One sip of Modelo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going up to 8,000. Back to Jeremiah. He will make this call. Hurts. Eric, I feel you. Dropping out, <laughs> Ali going away, and so heads up between these two. <laughs> Jeremiah currently stuck in this game. Ace of clubs will not help him get unstuck. How you get past your cup? <laughs> Seth will check his set of eights. I would imagine Jeremiah will check behind here. Gotta get Jeremiah drunk now. I don't even know where we're at. Whose turn is it? <laughs> he does check with the pair in the flush draw. 
So we go to a river. It is a two of hearts. We gotta get him drunk. It's Jeremiah's really hard. Like Jeremiah's got really, like, he's fine with himself. He, it's hard to make him peer pressure, you know? Seth, way easier. I get this guy doing coke and heroin in like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Seth has to contend with the table talk of Eric while making a decision on whether to bet or check his set. Looks like he's gonna go for a block bet here. No, gonna size it up. Yeah, it is a block bet, 5,500. What is that? It's such a small bet. So fair. So fair, Seth. Give Jeremiah a chance to call with a weak pair or bluff. He's playing in a 300,000 in two He has like the laser eyes. <laughs> Win or lose, I'm having fun, man. Yeah. Jeremiah will get away. Come on, show a bluff. Show the bluff. Seven, Put him on tilt. Oh, wow. Well played hand from Jeremiah there. Loses the minimum. Man, I would have won that Play. hand. <laughs> Was aces any good? I had an ace. Ooh. Tell me the truth. I'm gonna see it on TV anyway. He had jacks, so I think an ace was good. He had jacks? How do you, you know this? <laughs> that set, the set, top set versus straight there was absolutely Oh, yeah, we're check checked yet. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> lots of speculation there. Now Jeremiah with the suited connector. <laughs> it's like $400 in the pot going to the turn. We'll make it 1000 to go. And Eric. <laughs> I don't know. Is that my four? It's the uh, seven deuce oh. game, not six deuce, it? Eric, but. <laughs> I'm gonna try. He's undeterred. <laughs> He's gonna three bet up to 3,500. Really loosening up here. Come on, Jeremiah, you're on tilt. Get in here. Swim with sharks, baby. <laughs> Why does Eric wanna keep him good? He's got six high. Why keep him in? Oh, I love this guy. Seven, five, four on the flop. Top pair and a gut shot for Jeremiah. 45. Open ender for Eric, who follows through with 4,500. Jeremiah makes the call. Go to a turn, nine of diamonds. Puts a second flush draw up on the board. 13, two. 17,000 in the middle. Eric will bet 13-2, so he is following through here, Vince. There's no shame in folding, Jeremiah. But there's a lot of shame in calling this spot. <laughs> a lot of shame? <laughs> a lot of shame. So bad. Why? Because, <laughs> because remember what I stacked you with last time? Which hand was that? It was 6-8. You have to be more specific. <laughs> and you just couldn't believe it because you had a set. Is that 13 2? 13 2, sir. Jeremiah feeling more confident after hearing that mishmash. To this discomfort of Eric. River card, will Eric get there? No, it is Jeremiah who gets there, fills in his straight. Check. I'm all in. Whoa! Whoa. There you go. I have a straight. I'm just. Making sure there's not a paired board or something. What is there's this? no paired board, sir. I had, I had an eight. <laughs> what? You can't pull an eight. It's a pretty clear call. In a spot like this. Sometimes in life you have to stack off. Yeah, three, Eric, trying to double talk here. There's zero chance you can fold here. Justin Young. Zero. Ducking for cover. Wow. Zero. Why? Points. Because you have an eight. This is a eight TV. Right here. <laughs> the only chance I can beat you is with an eight and a ten. I mean, I'm I mean, just Hollywooding at this point. Why would I risk? You know, what I'm saying you have to call here. You literally have no laydown value. If you can't call this hand, <laughs> you have to go play tic tac toe with your boys because you just stacked me or didn't stack me. He's made this call. He has won a massive pot. I was just wanted to take a minute. Why did you put your hoodie on? I was nervous for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he had an eight, and you started talking to him, and I was like, oh, he's going to call. What else can I do? He's not going to clam up. Jeremiah getting his money back, looking good. This guy, you don't have no money. <laughs> Here we go. Rakes in the pot of the night. Whoa. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players 
worldwide. Click the link in the description. Use the code YT11 on deposit and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. <laughs> Are you still down like 30 or something, right? Yeah, I'm in for two. <laughs> that was way too accurate. I know, he's, <laughs> this guy's too sharp. It's like, I'm barely paying attention, but you're on 30, right? <laughs> it's exactly right. <laughs> Eric, Jeez. a bit dejected. Let's see if you can come back. A lot of big personalities are fun winners, but angry losers. We'll see how Eric handles the setback following that pot. I feel like I'm in like the ski lodge. Like my toes are oh, just right. freezing. Yeah. Like, Your toes are freezing? Yeah. Yeah. Winner's so toes cold. can't get cold, Seth. You should drink. I am. <laughs> That's true. Faster. He's drinking more than anybody here. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seth's running the worst bluff of the night there. Drinking more than anyone yeah, here? Yeah, You've yeah. also had like four. <laughs> I should have thought about that before, Seth. So. <laughs> I got to give it to Eric. He's still smiling and laughing, even though he's stuck. You're, you're in a solid third place. I'm hardly on the podium. Here we go with the flop. 800. <laughs> got tens with a jack kicker for Justin. I'm like the only one who had to order drinks. He goes and gets his own. He goes back double fisted. <laughs> and we are going to the turn. A straight for both men. No, the best part is on, on break. They're like, hey, Justin, can we do your interview? He's like, hey, I really want to go get a beer right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was stuck at like 40,000. Good mix of alcohol and bad beats. Good things happening. Makes everybody happy at the table. And that's what we're seeing. Both men have a straight here. What's going to happen? Call. Going to the river. Five of diamonds. Check, 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 because three diamonds are out there. Yes. That slows down the action here, so they'll chop up this pot with a straight to the queen. So no harm, no foul for the two professional players. No one getting super aggressive because they realize Eric Person is at this table with a ton of chips and he's stuck. He lost $100. Ali, send in a few needles Justin's <laughs> way. Hold on, I got the remedy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the remedy. <laughs> ah, you were so offended when I said I was drinking. He was so offended. <laughs> it's like, hey, 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 hey easy, easy. Uh, I, mean, I have very few things in this world. <laughs> Just let me have this one. It's so funny how a cash game can change during the night. A three-act play with very different phases. Seth can't play a 5-4. Justin wants to play a 7-6, raising into the big blind of Eric. Good fold. Sick. Oh, there's, there's, no, there's no fold oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you would fold. There's no fold in this spot. These two have tangled a number of times so far, and Eric will accept the invitation to do so once more. I check it. We get ourselves a king, 9-5, two hearts and a diamond flop. So Justin with a gut shot, Eric just ace high and backdoor heart draw. He is going to check raise up to 3,500. And Justin, not ready to let it go, will make the call. So these two building a pot and an ace of spades on the turn. OK, so Eric now pops a pair of aces. Now betting 5,000. Well, does Justin want to peel once more? No, he wants to raise. He's going to make it 15,000. A daring play from Justin here with just a gut shot to the eight, especially against Eric, who, after losing a big pot, might not be in a folding mood. He does make this call. So about 40,000 in this pot going to the river. It's a seven, which will give Justin a pair, but ultimately he is behind the top pair of Eric. And Eric, after getting raised on the turn, is gonna block this river not even a block. He's going to bet more than that. 17-5. Look at this. Eric taking the lead back. Owen. Christ. It's not going to be cooler like this. Justin with great timing here. He blocks two pair. He blocks the straight. I thought you were going to fold a weak call. You shoved. I turned two pair, man. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it's like, this is the two pair. Sure, sure. <laughs> Obviously, it's the ace of hearts and something else. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, fair, fair. <laughs> this one kind of hurts. 
Certainly the biggest bluff of the night. Oh, and you are. Holy smokes. How can this be good, man? You, you got ace king? You flop a set? Nines, I guess? I don't know. I don't have ace king, for what it's worth. I didn't give you ace king. That's why I was so happy to bet you. I thought at best it'd be a weak call. Then you shocked me. Have we ever had a big hand before? We've maybe had one like 60K or something. Yeah, peanuts. 60K is a lot of money. Did I win the hand? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm not sure if you bluffed me or not. I don't even know the hand, so I oh, can't Oh, I know. Tell like, you. It meant a lot to me at the time. <laughs> this one should mean a lot to you. I got to let it go. I, I don't know why I'm letting it go. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, Justin Tables wow. the bluff. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Justin. Oh, I showed you the ace in purpose. I didn't get nothing out of you. Ah. Wow, that was that was dope. That was dope. So that's going to be an NFT, I guarantee you. That's an NFT. Sick. <laughs> that was sick. Not going to lie. Oh. Sad. Jeez. That was gangster. Let's go to the felt. The blinds are two and 400. Justin Young, tough player with ace king, makes it 1,000 to go. Yeah, Eric ran some big bluffs in this game so far. A couple have worked, but a couple others have cost him a ton of money. He's going to stick around with the queen, ten of clubs. Seth? And he's going to keep involved. And here is the flop, queen, six, six. Eric making top pair. Love Justin's bet here. He's up against Eric, who gets very sticky, and Seth, who is going to have the trips advantage in the big blind. All the same, his 1,200 is called by Eric, and we get a five on the turn. And Justin continues betting into the very sticky Eric, who now is cutting out a raise. Just messing around. Eric Person bought in for over 600,000. He owns 27 casinos in Washington, Nevada, and Colorado. I'm down like 110. I'm down a college tuition. It's my college tuition? I don't know. I mean, just not college a tuition. Person. Oh, okay. like a person. It's an out of state. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I let out 19,000 there. You just shoved. I blacked out. I, I honestly don't know how much you bet. <laughs> See how many beers he's at? How many beers he's at? <laughs> a daring river bluff shove from Justin Young in that pot against Eric. I got to let it go. Extra scary when you're trying to bluff somebody who did not come here to fold. Sometimes you got to let Jesus take the wheel, you know? It's fine. You got to tell them your poker story. It's pretty interesting. What poker story? How you were a pro for like 10 years, play um, lemon and all that. You're, you're a poker pro for 10 years? Yeah. I put myself through underground law school playing poker. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that's an awesome story. You can't tell? You can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> that's true. I, I got about 34,000 hours of log live play. Eric limps into the pot. Ralph will limp right behind him. Well, Ali will limp as well. Two more hours than I've been alive, I think. Seth <laughs> will surprisingly fold. Justin completes King Jack of Clubs. <laughs> Jeremiah checks. And it is a three deuce deuce flop. I'm not losing this hand. So somehow Ralph's fours are an over pair on this board. But Eric, the one starting the betting at 1300, Ralph makes the call. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to have a couple beers with my buddies and hang out. What are you doing? Wait, let's have a poll. Who's more likely to have a two or a three right now? Me or you? Or a king. You're a lot more likely to have a king. I check. And Ralph Sand could use some protection here. So he's going to fire out 1,400. Try and charge Eric to see a river with his overcards. Trying to bet 20% of the pot? What the f is that? Doesn't want to bet too big. Is that a mistake? In the event that Eric has turned a king. You're not holding a deuce in the middle. It's so bad. It's literally so bad. It's so freaking bad. We could have hit the king. Would the king good? 
feels like it's good though, right? 5,400. He's gonna check raise him to 5,400. <laughs> Makes me so happy. You wanna go for the flush draw? Go for it. I don't have a full house yet. You still have six cards. I have a feeling Ralph won't find this very credible. And it's not the most credible line. Check call, talk my ear off, and then check raise. Yeah, put those unlucky purple chips in there. Maybe lucky for me. Makes the call with the fours. Nice call from Ralph. River, an ace, and so Eric oh. makes his hand. Now, acting quickly, fires out 5,400. And at this point, it is hard for Ralph to beat very much. I'll tell you what, I'll make it easy for you. No, can't show you that one. No, no I can't make it, sorry, I can't make it easy for you. <laughs> Should have just let it go on the flop. Now I'm gonna make two chocolates off you. Oh, you like no more chocolates. Damn. Don't worry, if you're gonna shove, I'm gonna call. You don't have to wait no longer. You gotta love this guy's talk. Will he get his man to call? I mean, if you have the old deuce ace, I guess that'd be good. I've seen Ralph make some very disciplined folds in the past. We'll see if he can put the pieces together here. Yes, he does. How is that? That's sad. Eric with the rivered ace will take that down and show a nine. Nine deuce, maybe? Maybe the deuce of hearts. Didn't show both That's cards. Cool. You know a man like Eric would be showing both cards if he was completely bluffing. Can't help himself but slam that bluff down in his face. Let's go back down to it. Justin Young. I yep, not gonna cool her me. Uh, going out, Jeremiah, out as well. 14. There goes Eric, makes it 14 to go. And the very tough Ali, poker pro out of Bosnia, making the call with fours. Here's the flop. Ace, eight, six, two hearts, good for Eric. Four flush and three straight for Eric. Oh, it's like what the chips are stuck together. This bet of 2,000 is called immediately by Ali. And Eric. Oh, gosh. My magic works only pre flop. Will share his hand with his buddy Justin. Six of spades on the turn. 36. Eric still doing the betting. I feel like this is a way to pad your stats. <laughs> Ali's pair is still good, but as we can see, Eric has a world of outs. Here's what we know Ali doesn't have an ace, or he would have raised pre flop. He might be on a hard draw, but not likely. Pairing the board didn't hit the six. He makes it 15. I just call because I'm crazy. It's Ali check raising to 15,000. And now he has to bet the river. And an ace on the river will counterfeit Ali's pair. It's tough to represent an ace when you don't have one, my friend. That's true. But, <laughs> but you may have a uh, six. Eric thinks he needs to do the bluffing and fires out 12,000. I love you, I mean, baby. Literally every time. It's I bananas you, how good we are. It's bananas how good we are. That's got to make TV, right? <laughs> Eric thinks he's pulled off the bluff of a century. Meanwhile, Ali had four high. We're a team. We're going on the road. <laughs> you know, like in the old days, Doyle Brunson, Oklahoma. Let's go. Eric graduated from... Georgetown Law School. I almost folded, Ali. I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest joke of the night. <laughs> hey, is the can I get some of this colored up? I'm about to I'm about to leave. How rich is this guy? I want to be as rich as you to leave this game. What the heck? <laughs> I got a family to go see, man. I understand. Seth, the recent dad. Duty calls. This should have been a freeze out. You just have to play. Wow, he's leaving the game after this hand. <laughs> and now he picks up a pair of kings. What is he doing? Jeremiah has called. All right, this is the last one. This is your last chance? Yeah. Okay. I have like, 80, I have like 85K. Okay. 
King 7-4 on the flop. Three of a kind. Jeremiah with nothing. I try to get rid of He's going to check it. Jeremiah not getting anything there. Checks as well. Going to the turn here. Oh, wow. King's full. Hard to get any money out of Jeremiah here for Seth. He may continue slow playing. Two days. Yeah. Nope. In a bet over pot, 3,500. Jeremiah, a quick fold. A little gas money for you. It's going to work out for Seth. Good last chance. <laughs> He's going to leave the game, open up a seat. It's been fun, boys. Chris. Jeremiah with his ace king raises it up. We are playing the seven deuce game tonight, Vince. Sure. Should you win a pot with seven deuce, everyone sends you $500, except the last person to fold sends you 1000 This is a preventative alley bet. There you go. I'm not even the hand yet. That's bullshit. <laughs> Prepubescent alley bet. So Eric will kick it up to 6000 but he is running into the ace king of Jeremiah. Shall I get a revenge? Maybe you can double to me again. Yum, yum. All right, I call. Just calls with the ace king. I need you have a pair of tens. I'm not going to go far. Let's come look at you. Oh, I just picked up a tell. Oh, that's another one. Check. 653. Brilliant flop for seven deuce. And one that should not inspire Jeremiah to continue. I feel like 7,200 same spare in this spot. Eric, hinting at his hand, says it seems like 7,200 seems fair. With his seven deuce, it's going to work out. Yeah, you can throw that over here. I appreciate I'm it. I'm trying. I, I mean, I, I tried to signal him the whole time. Eric will get an additional 500 from each player. It ain't easy being cheesy. That's it. That's your board. I'm too scared. He bet 7,200, by the way. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I was just in the pot. Wow. <laughs> no, I had seven dudes and bet 7,200. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Would you pick that up if you're in the hand, though? Yes, absolutely. Really? But like, I would <laughs> myself and be like, oh, are they doing this on purpose? And I would still mess myself up. <laughs> but when you're outside of the hand, you're like, oh. I'm it's so obvious. I love that Justin is six bureaus deep and raising 6-4 offsuit, but still hyper aware of the little hints that Eric is giving off. Ali makes it a 1,000. Trapping me? Huh? You trying to trap me here? How is it a trap? <laughs> I see it. If you don't see it, it's fine. Jeremiah has called. Someone sees my stuff, you know? I, finally. Eric with 9-3. He doesn't care. We'll make this call. If you're going to call it 9-3, it's always a trap, Vince. Here's the flop, a 7 five, two clubs. What a flop for Ali Msurovich. Open-ended straight flush draw. That's a 1,000. Neither of his opponents have connected here, though, so this should be an easy win. Is Eric really going to continue? He chuck raises him. What is going on? Makes it 3,000 to go with nine high. For the love of God, please have a club draw. You have a club draw? Uh, no, I don't have a club draw. You don't? No, <laughs> No. What else could you have? Got aces. Ten. Two aces? Like, just two aces. <laughs> just just two, you know? I feel like any ace in the spot would be super, super good. Probably true. I mean, you know what? Because I think that you are likely to fall for it. I'm going to show you my kicker. Don't do my it, Eric. It's not even that good. So it's like one of these spots where if you're really smart, I'm going to probably bet. I'll show you my kicker. I'm going to bet out. You'll just call. Force me to bet the river, and then you'll make a raise hoping that I'll fold because the kicker's so bad, but I won't fold, and I'm gonna tell TV ahead of time what's gonna happen. That's genius, man. I'm gonna <laughs> bet 4,400. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, I kind of have no choice. <laughs> All right, I fold. 20,000. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that hand. Nice hand. What's the river? What's the river? River. river. We need a river. We have to have it. Would Ali have gotten there? Oh. Yes, he would, with a straight flush. Oh. Once again, oh. once again, I win by losing. Wow. Eric has got to That's scrap sick. that strategy quickly. Great times here at the WPT Cash game. Yeah. Jeremiah making it a 1,000. 
Eric again with seven deuce. 4,500. 45. Ali. 13. With ace queen. Well, four bet. A serious raise, Ali. Ali. Ali has really had Eric's number tonight. But Eric has not been one to pass up an opportunity to win the seven deuce game. Your bet almost flops, okay. right? Makes this call. It's the only hand he can win with tonight, seems like. Oh, so uh, now he's going to show the hand, share it with Justin Young. He loves giving Justin a peek at his cards. Justin going to hide his face, doesn't want Ali to pick up anything. Oh, OK, here goes the flop. Jack 6-4. Neither player connects here. Ali will bet 8,000. Pretty big pot, you know. How big? Like 27. <laughs> Twenty-seven thousand to go. <laughs> well, he loves the bet sizing tells. This is amazing. Oh, let's look through the victory drink, sir. Well, I'm on it. You can't make this call. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun watching poker, Vince. What a wild game. Can make this call. Allie's on to him. You got an overpair that you're in love with, are you? Is that better? Did you make all your money with overpairs? I didn't make any of my money with overpairs. No, I make probably none. 81,000 going to the turn, five on the turn. Check. How much are you playing? 20, 40, 60. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got, I got black, so 70, 130, 140. What's up, Chris? Um, hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. I'm all in. And Eric goes all in. Ali has 165,000 behind. <laughs> Welcome to the table, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ali senses that not all is right with this bet, but has a near impossible call with just ace high. He's got an over pair. Wow. That Damn, is boys. why we sweat together. That's why we sweat together. I will happily pay you $500. Pop. Uh, it looks like we have a seven deuce game going. Oh, we're playing deuce seven, by the way. <laughs> but you got to tip your hat to Eric Pearson, who has a lot of guts. Eric, let's, let's be real. When we haven't been playing it, that's never stopped you from playing seven deuce, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Another NFT right there. Agree. That was sexy as hell. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. Justin Young. Going to look down at an ace deuce. No, it's not. He likes to fold. Fault. Jeremiah, 21 years old, won't play that. I came in for 40. <laughs> not enough. Same in comparison to his stack. <laughs> Even Eric goes out. Oh, man. Ralph going away. So now Ali. Did that tilt you a little bit? I had nothing. <laughs> he had 7 2 also, probably. He <laughs> folded the job. And Chris with a 6 10. Against Ali 10 5, and the flop is a king 8 deuce. Chris will stab at it and drive Ali and his 10 5 away. So he wins his first pot at the table. And you know what? He's made close to 4.5 million in tournament winnings. That is Chris. I just want to put Ali to the test. I'm tired of seeing pushing people around. <laughs> the bully. Chris Brewer just broke onto the scene in the last few years and already amassed nearly $5 million in tournament earnings, so this guy is an ascendant player. He's going to be tough at this table. Yeah, no, it's kind of, it's kind of sick, though. We see him call with the 10-7 suited up against Ali's pocket threes. Justin calls with pocket deuces. Eric, never a big folder. Makes the call with a six. No, excuse me. He's going to three bet to 12,000. Looks like free money, Ali. Highly really suspicious does. raise. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious. I mean, can I have a hand every time? 
No. All right. Allie's gonna come along. I uh, get me out of there. <laughs> I had I had some cheese. <laughs> I got the Gouda. All right, Chris and Justin going away, so two-way action. These two playing very deep stack poker right now. But we don't have the same hand. Yeah, we don't have the same hand. Eric gives Justin his usual sweat. Three king, queen, three clubs, three of a kind for Ali. I don't remember if I have the ace of clubs. I really don't. And Eric, again, acting slowly and uncertain when he doesn't have much of a hand. It's got to be profitable to call with most any club 10 or higher here. You'd think? I think so. Yeah. I feel like that, too. You really are my dealer, dude. It's so sick. It is so <laughs> sick. It is so sick. Let's go. 17. And he's got his man betting with nothing. Oh, no. Just walk the dog, Ellie. <laughs> That's exactly what he's going to do. Just makes the call. Let's go to the turn. Oh, even worse. 36. Eric drawing stone dead, betting 36,000 into the full house of Ali Mservich. Trying to get real. It's gotten real all right. Feel a little blood. You have ace game? If I uh, beat you in this hand, I'll buy you a drink. I don't think I'll want it. <laughs> <laughs> Ali ready to destroy his man. Eric cannot win. He just needs to shut this bluff down. A three on the river will make quads for Ali. I mean, there's hardly any bluff value here in this spot. You know what I'm saying? There's what? Hardly any bluff value left in this spot. I don't know what bluff value is. <laughs> Eric has the most inventive <laughs> poker terms. What are you playing? 20, 40, 60? Oh, you got three cranberries or three five. So that's only 75. And then 85. Yeah, we're all in. Uh-oh. I call. You win. Oh, no. Quad oh threes. Oh, my God. What do you got, Ali? Nice hand, dude. I bluffed that off. I got 103.3. Just a massive mistake by Eric Person. Another 12. And Eric Eight, has to seven. stew, having just lost six figures to Ali and Servish. Wow, that's a bad card. That's a shockingly bad card. Yeah. I thought it was a good card for you. Energy is sucked out of the room. Ali raking in his chips, massive winner, and his one great night for Ali. Well, let's have a look at the chips around the table. Ali Imsurovich, our biggest winner, up 221,000 after catching Eric Person in a big bluff. Justin Young in the green for 41 grand. Chris Brewer, new to the game, down three grand. Brewer did add some chips to his stack, so he's got 120,000 in front of him. Eric Person, after that big pot, down six figures tonight. Blinds are two and 400. Big blind Annie of 400. Did Chris just fold ace queen? Is that right? Uh, all right, so Justin raises it up and faces a three bet from Jeremiah to 4,500. Justin. We'll make it 19.5. Sorry. No, no, it's OK. <laughs> Justin out of Colorado now, lives in Vegas, married. OK, nice end. Oh, All right, I'm in there, man. <laughs> Straddle of 800. I guess we got to do a round now. Let's do it. You talk me into it. I guess I'll do it. One round. <laughs> One round. And the guy of the evening, Eric Person. Now well, he's staying positive despite the setback. There's the new player, Chris Brewer. And he's going to raise to 2,000. Eric makes the call with ace, deuce of clubs. Ali with four deuce in the straddle. We'll come along as well, splashing around. And it is King Jack for all clubs. Eric has flopped the nuts and leads right out. We have seen Eric do that a few times tonight where he leads out when he makes a hand on the flop. Chris with Kings is going to make the call. So the thousand was bet and called. And now Chris has two pair. Eric's still betting, but not for very much. 
And Chris is gonna call this. Need a club? Let me check. So he's getting involved. It's going to the river. And oh, it's a... no. Ooh, there's a club. Chris makes the runner runner full house. Eric's bad night keeps getting worse. Well, you don't have the ace of clubs. Because I have it. Plus, he's stuck so much, you oh. want to get some more value. You think you're probably in front. So he's going to try to get more value out of it. He's betting 10,000. I don't know why you would tell your opponent exactly what you have before betting the river. But Eric likes to talk in the middle of hands. 65. Call. Oh. Uh, pull house? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Nice sizing from home? Chris here. What the f is going on? Then again, his opponent did tell him, I've got the ace of clubs. It was a green light to go for the maximum. To the light of Chris Brewer, who just walked into the game, and now he's up. Holy s***. What an incredible run out for Chris. And things are just going from bad to worse for Eric. You know, he's dropping. What? Yeah, he's dropping. Oh, he's dropping. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Finally. But here's the thing, Eric still has over a quarter of a million in front of him. Yep, and he is double straddling up to 1,600. It's around, you know that. <laughs> Jeremiah completes with the jack eight. I'm stuck. Eric bumps it up, 4,600 with 7-6 six suited, and Jeremiah, sensing that Eric is splashing around at this stage, makes the call. 10, 9, 4. Jeremiah with the open-ended straight draw. Eric with just the gut shot. And now, heart flush draw. Jeremiah will bet 7,000. A quick call from Eric. It's a 7. Straight for Jeremiah. Could be a bad river for Eric if he gets sticky with his pair. Out of 24,000, and Jeremiah will bet 30. Nah, man. If it's due seven, then so be it. And an immediate fold from Eric. He's done losing money for the moment. See, straddle worked out well for you. Nice pot there. Jeremiah has been down for much of the evening, but kept his spirits high now. Battled back to nearly even. Win or lose, he still has his guinea pigs to go home to. That must have a nice calming effect. Beautiful guinea pigs. You know, I once had a guinea pig when I was just a mere child. I loved it, but it did bite me. But I, I forgave it. And that's the origin story of how you became guinea pig man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Flop is queen, 10, 8 in this three-way pot. Ali flopping the nuts with the redraw to the nuts. 26. Eric, middle pair and a gut shot. Going to start the betting. Ralph with a gut shot and an over card makes the call. And Ali with the nuts and the redraw to more nuts. He's going to check raise to 12-5. Eric, still steaming, makes this call. Ralph, going to get out of the way. You going to make a pair yet, Allie? No. Six on the turn. It does give Eric an additional out to a straight, but as we know, Ali already has the higher straight. You're thinking, right? Yeah. yeah. So in some ways, the six of clubs is a bad card on the turn for Eric, as it may tempt him to keep going here. 33,000 has been bet. You'll fire if you blink the turn river, right? Not if it's a diamond or a club. Okay. Hold it. No, I had it. Damn, you super had it. Yeah. Allie's going to show the monster hand. And right now, Eric is fading like my acting career in the 90s. It's not looking good. Hey, I like Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs>
WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. WPT Cash Game continues. It's been all these nights so far. He's got a good attitude. He is running good and playing good. And he has certainly had Eric Person's number. Oh, I forgot to straddle. We see him raise it up to 1,000. Into Justin, who has a nice queen jack of hearts, just calling. Jeremiah out. Eric calling. He raised. I straddled. That's on me now. Wait, what? I just yeah, it's... <laughs> he got so scaled. And Ralph with a pair of eights. He has called as well. Four ways to this flop and top set for Ralph Wong. Oh, man. 22. Eric leading right out with the middle pair here. Not sure what he's hoping to accomplish with this one. Ralph with the set. Just going to call. Playing it slow. Ali with the four flush, two over cards, and a backdoor straight draw makes the call. Justin, the only one to fold here. Jack of diamonds on the turn will give Ali additional outs to the nine. One of those in Eric's hand, who slows down and checks. Ralph. He's going to pick 6,000. He has called it. What a half second fooled it. Hoping to catch. Going to the river between these two tough players. River card is a jack of spades. Gin card for Ralph Wong. He fills up while Ali makes a flush. Conscious that a lot of Ali's range is comprised of flush draws. He does check it over to him. Very nice check from Ralph. Digging the hole, putting the branches of the twigs over it, waiting for the sucker to fall in. Fifteen thousand for Molly. And this is happy days are here again. Show tunes going off in Ralphie's head. All in. Thirty-five thousand all in. Let's check back. It's only like a dollar fifty more. Sometimes your spidey sense gets to tingling, Vince. Let's check that. Play a lot of poker, you start to know when things aren't adding up. And Ali, despite having an A-side flush here, looks like a man who wants to fold. And he does! Folds it face up. Tremendous discipline from Ali. You wish Ralph could slam a bluff in his face, but not this time. Show the do seven. I wish. <laughs> That'd be sick. Ralph played his hand beautifully, but Ali seemingly came out on top there by avoiding losing any more money. What a fold. Did you bite your nails? I think I'm more addicted to it than I am addicted Shall to smoking, we? honestly. I'm, like, pretty addicted to smoking. <laughs> Cigarettes? <laughs> Cigarettes? Uh, just marijuana. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I was much more consoled than I thought it was cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah. Yeah, like, ah. Uh, little evil. It's fine. <laughs> so you hear all kinds of secrets at the poker table. That's the fun of it. Justin with the pair of kings. And he has just called it. He's going to play it slow. He has really been in call mode pre-flop lately. No three bets at all with some of these strong hands. Perhaps just trying to keep Eric involved because he knows Eric is the one most likely to make a big mistake post-flop. And it's a 9-4-3. This is great for Justin. Check, check, check around. Of five now. Wow, still checking. Justin has completely lost his bet button. So Eric will take the lead for 2200. Ali with ace queen thinks he's in front. Justin just calling with his kings. Okie dokie down to the river. Can Eric get lucky? No, but Ali hits queens here. Yeah, that's basically Justin getting lucky with this river because now he can get paid from Ali. He's going to cut out a healthy bet here of 
13-5, full pot. Dustin doesn't mind that one bit. He'll make the call. Ace queen. Nope. Eric goes out. And Ali, wait, ace queen's no good here? Man, I had an ace six. You let me go as far as I could go. Just the... I was trapping somebody. I'm not going to say who it was, but I was going to trap somebody in this spot. <laughs> Are you flat or free? Yeah. Yeah, what else? Back here on the World Poker Tour, the cash game continues, and look at this, Ali winning 160,000 so far. We got five winners, only one guy stuck, that's Eric Person, and he's stuck close to 300,000 at this point. Ali is gonna straddle for 800, here we go. Chris makes it 2,000. Justin goes out, Jeremiah out, Eric Person. Seven, four clubs will make this call. Yeah, it's a game full of Robin Hoods right now, taking from the rich and giving to the less rich. Flop is a 10, four, three, two spades. Eric getting fours here. Gonna bet 2,500. Ali with a gut shot and an over card. Ali's gonna call. Chris with the over cards and the only one holding a spade gets out of the way. So the two old buddies at it again, a six on the turn. So Eric turns a gut shot to go along with third pair. Ali, open-ended now, could also catch an ace. The five no longer an out, as that would give Eric a straight to the seven. So Ali will bet 8,000. Eric will make this call. 28,000 going to the river, and it's a king of clubs. Eric, who's made very sporadic decisions on some of these rivers, cutting out chips to bet. We know he actually has the best hand, but it doesn't matter. He bets about half pot here. Ali, just stays high. Let's three bet this pot. Does he want to try a creative bluff or give up on this one? Ali has punished him enough, hasn't he? Well, Ali has punished Eric plenty tonight, but it's been more of a self-flagellation. And he will get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Eric, just kind of in there making bets and calls with low pairs at random times. Has that one work out for him, but I'm not sure how long that will keep working. Just everything going wrong. The perfect storm, perfect loss for Eric. He's still got a ton of money in front of him. He hoping to hit a home run in the bottom of the night. That's what he needs. Gonna need a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth <laughs> at this point. It's true. He's made the call. Ralph goes out. Ali here has called it. Race. And Chris Brewer Race. is gonna make it 5,000 to go. Big raise from Chris Brewer. That'll get it heads up. <sighs> with Eric calling in position with the Queen Eight of Spades, so we go to a flop. Queen seven five, two clubs and a diamond. Four flush for Chris. Eric hitting queens. They go check, check. Turn card is a jack of clubs. So the nuts here for Chris. And he's going to bet 3,000. Eric, of course, with queens here. He's going to pump it up. He thinks he's in front. Makes it 8,000 to go. I think if Eric wanted to get more money in this pot, the time was the flop. I just showed error, basically. Now, do you walk the dog, knowing that you're playing against the guy that's really stuck? No, he's going to come over the top to make it 26. 5,000 feet flop, check the flop when the queen came. Right three on the turn when the jack came. I'm kind of surprised he's going for it at this point. You got the nut flush. Why chase your man out who's desperate? Must not think that's a big bet. Chris has made it 26,000 with this three bet, and Eric starting to sense that his top pair might not be good. But I can't make the call. Hey, Sam. He does show it and drop out. It's been a bloodbath there for Eric Person. Might have been bad. Everyone taking a piece of him tonight. Might have been bad. Well, the game is winding down, and they're going to draw for how many hands will be left. There's going to be five hands left. Let's go. Six bold players going at it, but Eric Person has taken the hits tonight. He is stuck the most. 
everybody else winning at the table, and there's only five more hands left. Jeremiah folds, Eric out, and Ralph here with a pair of threes. He likes it, makes it 2,000 to go. Ali, you're gonna stay in the mix, approaching the end of the session. Chris with the ace jack in the big blind. We'll three bet up to 12,000. And he's gonna get rid of these guys. So Chris sitting down at a seat tonight that was hot by Seth, who left. You straddle? Yeah, yeah. Straddle, straddle, straddle. Now we got a double straddle by Jeremiah and Eric. All right, we got a couple folds. Bunch of folds into Jeremiah. You're gonna get a walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. I just know you're gonna shoot it up. <laughs> shoot it on up. Fair. That's boring, though. So Eric take that one down uncontested. Everyone else I would call, because I don't respect them, but... <laughs> He's got to shoot up any two there, Jeremiah. So he can't shoot it up. <laughs> shoot up before the shoot up comes. <laughs> oh, boy. To his credit, Eric has taken his sizable loss tonight with a lot of humor and grace. A lot of people get really cranky when they're down big on the night, but he's stayed in high spirits. Chris with the Queen Jack will go up to 2,000. Jeremiah in the big blind. We'll make the call. Three, and right? Eric drops out with 9-5. Flop is 10-7-6. Both players just with over cards on this board. It does go check, check. Turn card is an ace of hearts. Good card for Chris to represent here, and he does have a gut shot to go along with a heart blocker. I imagine he'll start the betting on the turn. And he will for 4,000. Jeremiah, just with a gut shot, not gonna call. Chris Brewer, despite being a late addition to the game, the second largest winner on the evening for the moment. Two more hands. You put this back on, Ali? <laughs> not on my 32. button, guys. Not on my button. Come on, 32. Stop it. There we go. Come on. It's 32. Keep it wow, down. you got him, Eric. <laughs> oh, bitch. So going to triple straddle. <laughs> you got to do it for Eric. So it's 3,200 blind by Chris Brewer. Look good for Chris playing along at the end of the night. We will not be starting on there. Helping to build a pot just in case Eric <laughs> finds something he can get unstuck with. Just got real. Jeremiah going up to 10,000 with the ace jack. Well, I wish I had 40. <laughs> Ali with a pair of sixes will make the call. So heads up between the two young pros. Here is the flop, queen 10-5. <laughs> Neither player hitting here. Jeremiah will continue betting, 8,000. It's going to work out. So Jeremiah, who started our session down six figures, has come surging back and now in position to book a nice win on the evening. He doesn't suffer a horrible cooler or bluff it off in the last hand. You timed that having 50,000 just perfectly, Ralph. So you just it's win out. the last hand. It's more than that. I'm just kidding. I don't even count. Wouldn't mind a double. Me neither. Everyone else around the table profiting on the night. Ali Imsurovich at the top of the pile. Just gotta spew a little. All right, so now they're gonna double straddle. Ali and Chris. Action's going to Justin Young first. He'll quickly fold. Jeremiah gonna say goodnight as well. Now Eric with just a 3-4. He's gonna call. And can't win if you don't play. So he comes along. Ralph with Queen Jack suited.
Says, no, no, no. We'll make it 7,000 total if you want to play. Over to Ali with the 10-8 of spades. He's not going to pass on the last pot of the night. Chris can't play 9-3 offsuit. Eric will stop the bleeding, call it a session. So heads up between these two. Flop. It is a king, 6-6. Six, six. Not much for either player here, but Ralph blocking some of the hands that would have a king in them. That's 5,000. He has some backdoor draws here. Ali with 10-8 of spades. He's going to continue. My goodness, he's going to continue by raising to 14,000. I had no choice, man. Last hand, what can I do? Oh, my God. <laughs> I queen jack. And Ali tables the bluff. A little action at the end of the night. Yep, what he's the, the champ. Heck? He's the big winner. <laughs> it went his way. Give off a toe? What the hell was that? I think he just wanted to win the last ball. I wish this game would never end. <laughs> Ali, the big winner on the night, almost 150,000 in profit. Chris Brewer, it was a short but good session, up 70. Seth Davies, who left early, up 47,000. Eric, the one who took the damage tonight, down six figures. The newest real money online poker room is here and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. All right, the blinds are 50 and 100. Tony with a $100 big blind. Annie, there you can see Barry Woods in for 50,000. Paul Kuzmich as well. Yeah, it feels like only a matter of time for Matt Berkey to make a final table with his skill and volume of play. But tonight, he lands at our televised final table cash game. A couple hundred thousand dollars spread around our table. Barry Woods raising the 10-7 suited on the cutoff. And he's going to get action with Matt, who has a nice suited connector. Nine, eight of clubs. Oh, I like this three bet from Matt. Out of position, using the suited connector in his re-raise range. A lot of players miss these three bets, but Berkey, an experienced pro, does make the re-raise. And an interesting board for both these hands, Vince. Matt with bottom pair, three to a flush, three to a straight. Barry with middle pair, three to a flush, three to a straight. And it goes check, check on the flop. Jack of diamonds on the turn. We'll give Matt the open ender, Barry a gut shot to the nine, but can't be too enthusiastic about the strength of his hand here. On such a Broadway heavy board, Matt bets 1,000, Barry makes the call. And we get the 10 on the river that will give Barry trips. So we'll see if Matt shuts it down. No, he's gonna try and bluff his way out of this one. He's gonna bet over pot $5,000 into 4,500. Yeah, Barry from Malibu, California, hitting. Nice card on the river. Easy call to make, of course. No raise there, and he is going to win it and like that one. Well, it didn't work out for Matt, but I like his bluff attempt on the river. I don't think his eight is very likely to be good, so trying to bluff Barry off a jack or perhaps a weak ace. Uh, any fun? But Barry, of course, with trips, not laying that one down. And it looks like Matt Berkey will top up for an extra 5,000. Barry, I'm really digging your jacket. It's Thank you. Very nice looking. You should be the movie star. I got it, uh, got it in Morocco uh, two years ago. Nice. No BS, Vince. Kitty Kuo is one of my favorite people to play live poker with. I always know it's going to be a fun day when we land at the same table. We have Mike Nori on the button. Cash Game Pro raising up Jack 10 offsuit to 300. Paul in the big blind will take him up on it. We get a queen 10-6, all club flop, much better for Mike than Paul. So he will follow through with 300. Paul with the bottom pair, gonna stick around. Yeah, he's a chef, he's a caterer from Austin, Texas. Four hearts on the turn. Mike still likes where he is in this hand. We'll bet 800. Paul will drop out like me in college. <laughs> well, there you go. Quick win there for Mike Nori, 32 years old, the nickname of Potato. 
and he says he's a mixed game specialist. Wonder how he got that nickname, Potato. The distinctive one. You never forget a person named Potato. Kitty with the ace four of spades will open our action to 300. Matt will make the call with Queen Jack. I think Matt is going to play a little extra loose on the cutoff today, trusting that Button is not going to abuse him too much for it. Barry will come along in the big blind with King-7, so three ways to our flop of 3-3-6, three, three, two clubs. Kitty with a quick check. A very quick checks around. Five on the turn, an interesting card. Barry, two over cards and a gut shot. Kitty open-ended. I'd like to see Kitty do some betting here, but mixing in check seems like a good plan, too. And everyone checks around. OK, this is the last time I'm going to check. A 10 of diamonds on the river. So three players have completely whiffed on this board. Who wants it? Will it be Matt Berkey with a bet on the river? He does kind of have the bottom of his range. So I like this bet from Matt. Senses a bunch of weakness in his opponents. Got $1,000 and gets them to go away. Not one bet. <laughs> we played that game. Yeah. How many hoodies that you had? You, you had us at the table. Guess how many hoodies you had. Me? Yeah, yeah. how many you own? No, it, no, how it, about? Was, it was something like 120, uh, hey. 300 and something. It was unbelievably date. Nobody gave him. Got, it, we played. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have 1,000, right? Uh, yeah, you had a like, unbelievable amount. All my roommate complained, no more clothes, please. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do after you don't wear it for a while? Like, do don't you? Net. OK. Yeah, I donate to, to people. To, to friends or like? No, the kids, like, uh, like uh, boarding school kids stuff. In Taiwan, all my shoes, all my clothes. They're just getting brand. Yeah, there's and... school walking around with all the kids <laughs> have Chanel and Hermes clothes. Can't afford a book. You should resell them and donate the money. I mean, I can resell. I just no time doing the, the stuff. Yeah. I can just donate it. People, they need the clothes and shoes. Yeah, but they don't need those clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for one hoodie, you could buy a whole wardrobe for them. Right. right. You could feed a small nation if you just, <laughs> just sold it on a secondary market. First. Right, Kitty, one of the most fashionable players in poker. Russell doesn't have any space. He has a little... If there was a best dress list in poker, she would be a perennial favorite. Maria Ho house, finds I'm pocket aces, house, so opens our action to 300. Very. Getting in the mix with three deuce of spades. Wants to see some flops. Matt calls Queen Jack from the small blind. And Paul will be a fourth with the 7-5 offsuit from the big blind. So Maria getting plenty of action with her aces. And a pretty good looking board for her hand. King 7-6. Paul the only one who meaningfully connects here. So Maria follows through with 500. And it folds back to Paul with second pair, three to a straight. He'll make the call. Ace on the turn will lock this pot up for Maria, but also prevent Paul from losing much more in this hand. Can't like where he is now on that card. So Maria bets half pot, and Paul goes away. Yeah, Maria pushes out the chef. Maria Ho, 38 years old, poker pro out of Los Angeles, and she has won over one million on the World Poker Tour. Well, we recently saw her on the final table from one of our seminal hard rock events. They generate huge fields down yeah. there. Maria navigated her way to the final table. Came away with a big score, but still looking for her first WPT title. Well, both these players are trying to get 86 tier events. Matt raises the 8-6 of spades. Paul calls 8-6 offsuit. Barry with ace three of diamonds. And elects to call. Kitty with the nice looking king queen drops out. Seems a little more interested in her food right now. And Mike will complete from the big blind with the jack deuce of hearts. So four ways yet again. And it is jack seven three. Two clubs. Well, look at this. Drinks are arriving at the table. Barry, it's just a special for you. I drink, I drink in the margarita, OK? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is my I'll liquor. drink pre-workout. Tell me. Uh, is it, what is it tonight? Cheers. 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 Nice to meet you. Cheers. 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 Yeah, let's get lit. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, people say, well, you shouldn't be drinking at the table. But in a cash game, it kind of relaxes you sometimes. It opens up the game a bit. 
It makes people think you're going to play a little looser, and maybe you will. So that's what they're doing. It's a social occasion. If I make yep. a final table, I don't really want to be drinking, but you invite me to a cash game and start the drinks flowing. I'm game. And it doesn't look good if you reject it, too. I agree. You know? It just looks like, oh, I'm just here to win money. And... I'm all business today. Yeah. We're supposed to be having fun. Mr. Malibu sucking that drink down. Things are working out for Barry Woods so far. And Barry's going to bet with a little pair of threes here. Paul with eight high, of course, cannot call. So Barry turns his bottom pair into a bluff, pushes out Mike Norrie, takes down a nice pot. One card? Is he going to show the bluff? Yes, he does. I don't bluff. You do. Oh, I don't get bluff. <laughs> now, Kitty picked that one up. So they're having a good time. They're sipping their drinks. Everyone's social. No pain at the table so far. We are in Las Vegas for this cash game. Things just warming up. And it's a good sign if the drinks are flowing in the first orbit, Vince. Um, this whole playing poker thing is getting in the way of my shot taking, but that's fine. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? <laughs> it's kind of hard to look at my cards with a shot. Yeah. yeah. Present. Poker's interrupting the flow of drinking. Mike, I feel so uncomfortable with where you put your oh. your shot. Yes. Yeah. You're oh, I was trying to like. You're the men. I've spilled a few drinks at the table, I have to say. You know, it's good luck. Yeah. It just yeah. feels like an accident waiting yeah. to happen. We don't trust the men, by the way, on the table. So just Why it. not? Because you guys always mess on the table. <laughs> this is a generalization. <laughs> Welcome back to the WPT Cash Game in Las Vegas, where we pick up the action on the flop. Maria Ho raced the straddle to 500 pre-flop with a pair of sevens. Matt Berkey and Paul Kuzmich called, and on this king 8-6 flop, Maria continues with a bet of 500 more. Matt will continue with the call, and Paul drops out. Queen of Spades on the turn. Not the card Maria was looking for. So it does go check, check. And a four on the river will give Matt bottom pair. He may want to show it down, or he may want to turn his hand into a bluff. What will it be? His pot is 2,600. Look at this. Matt going huge, best 3,500. Definitely turning his hand into a bluff, trying to represent a rivered straight or top two pair on the turn. Maria Sevens not looking so hot as she peeks down at them. She'll get out of the way. <laughs> they were the same. Okay, and now this time, potato. That's Mike Nori is going to be a straddler. So he makes it 200 to go. Matt goes out, and the caterer, Paul, Jack Nine, makes it 600. By the way, he catered for a couple big movies, Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, that's a lot of extras out there. Those so, are huge productions. Yeah, yep. And Fast and Furious. So he has these big productions where he's just giving food out to everyone. I wonder why he's playing in a big cash game. He's gone up to 600 with Jack Nine of Diamonds, but Kitty will three bet to 2400 with the Queen Jack of Spades. 24? 24, yes. Back on Paul. He likes the action. Gonna make this call with his Jack Nine. So here we go with the flop. It's a Queen Nine Four. Kitty hitting Queens. Paul hitting Nines. Dangerous flop for Paul here. Middle pair. And a couple of backdoor draws. James, right. 18? Basing a bet at 1,800 makes the quick call. Auto call. So about nine grand going to the turn. And it is the five of hearts, pretty relevant card. Kitty. Going. Gonna go all in. Wow, 12,000 over pot jam. And I like her Bet, but I don't love the sizing. Hard to get called by nice worse up. when you put that much money in in Kitty's shoes. Give you a hundred if it's a bluff. Mm -hmm. Kitty, you want to know how much? It's like like twelve. You don't trust a female, don't you? She big bluff. I mean, sometimes maybe. No, never, <laughs> never. You never know. When was the last time you bluffed? Yeah. Oh. Which which, which year? You mean a uh, year? Yeah. I, I... <laughs> was it like 2018? <laughs> 
Oh, they're on to her. Coach! <laughs> I'll help you out, Kitty. Kitty's actually bluffed me, but, like, tr bluffed me, but I actually just had it. But I can say that Kitty has some bluffs climb. sometimes. Kitty's got a little bit too much street cred with her bluffs. In I was bluffing too much before. People call me Jack High all the time. Call you a Jack High? All the time. Really Sometimes yeah, people call me like really light. Then I try to slow down, you know? <laughs> Come on, guys. Meow. <laughs> was that a meow? Yes. <laughs> She's going to raise you here for sure. Oh, you with me, huh? Yeah. She is now resorted to cat talk with an ace jack. Makes it 1,200 to go. I played poker a long time. I know what's happening. <laughs> At least I think I do. How about Wong Wong? What's that mean? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay. <laughs> and the flop is an 884. It's neither player. Out of 2,600, Nike? Kitty, with the big bet of 1,900, a little surprised as this board does favor the caller and Barry at Woods, but Barry sitting there with the queen, three of hearts. Is this one of those bluffs? Doesn't have much to do as Kitty flashes him the double peace sign. Well, Barry, getting out of that. It's right in my wheelhouse. I'm not yours. This isn't my home, OK? You go to LA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, go I'm folding an eight, but it's uh, I have a bad kicker. <laughs> when you go LA, you can do whatever you want, OK? OK, they're having fun. They're lying. Kitty taking down two pots in a row. Oh, not playing the seven deuce game here tonight. Drops out of that one. Over to Barry now. Not gonna play. Kitty with the ace jack of clubs. Makes a raise to 300. Mean to Potato, who wants no part of that, goes out. And Matt will stick around with his jack 10. Two way action. Here is the flop 954. Great looking flop for Kitty. Not a bad one for Matt Berkey. Two over cards, three to a straight, three to a flush. We'll see if he wants to continue when he faces this bet of 500 from Kitty. Well, Matt is a tough competitor. I mean, he hasn't picked up many cards tonight, but he's got a good read on the table. He's going to make this call and a nine on the turn. Well, that's a card that certainly favors Matt's range. A lot of players lead out when the board pairs on a card that favors them, and Matt will do the same, leads 500 into Kitty. Kitty will make the call with her ace high flush draw. And we will see a river that is the queen of diamonds. So both players miss. We've seen Matt bluff his way out on the river before. Will he attempt it again? Look at this. He is going to take a big stab. That's a $5,500 bet with nothing. Oh, I love it, Vince. Really tough spot for Kitty to call with a pair. She doesn't even have a pair, so she'll drop out. And Matt takes that one down with a very well-played jack high. There's one great thing about when you play poker and you're winning with bluffs, you really feel good about yourself. Yeah, he's only made the one hand with the backdoor Broadway against Paul. All his other big bets have been bluffs, but nobody has looked him up yet. So Matt kind of running circles around the table for the moment. Action over to Barry here. Not gonna play his jack nine. But you had Kitty going out. Oh, a six. I thought you said two sixes. Sorry. Yeah, potato is gonna look down okay. at his hand. And quickly folds. So over to Paul in the small blind with the nine five of hearts, and he will make a big raise up to seven hundred. Perhaps thinking the straddle is still on, goes with the huge sizing. Maria, with ace deuce in position, makes this call. So a couple of speculative hands going to the flop. And it is queen 10, four, two spades, and a diamond. Maria still in the lead, and with the crucial ace of spades in her hand here. But Paul, undeterred, bet 600 on the flop. And Maria should have enough of this board yeah. to continue, and she seems to agree, makes this call. Turn the king of hearts. Not much happening for Paul here, just a gut shot to the jack that would give Maria over straight. And so far tonight, Paul has been pretty solid, but going to try and bluff his way out of this one. 
I like that he's opening up his game, but I don't love the hand selection here with such a weak draw and no spade in his hand. This is still not an easy call for Maria. No, it is not. Just ace high. She's got the non-professional betting, but she's coming back over the top with a wow. 3,800 total. Good read by Maria Ho. Maria going to represent the straight or a two pair. Raises it up to 3,800. Pushes Paul out of that pot. And the caterer has to call it a wrap. Maria Ho taking that one down. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour in just a minute. Yeah, welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Matt Berkey looking good, hitting that hand early on. Now he's opened up his game. He's pulling off some bluffs. Well done. That's not true. Yeah, Matt kind of running circles around the table for the moment. Mentioned that backdoor straight he hit against Paul. Since then, he has bluffed his way out of all his troublesome spots. Our big winner for the moment. We got a bunch of folds, and now Kitty with Ace Jack has raised it up, and Matt with a suited connector will make this call. And I think Matt would mix in calls and three bets here with the six five of clubs. This time the call leads to a 10 8 deuce, two club flop. Five. So he will check over to Kitty. She will bet 500. And Matt will consider how he wants to continue here. Going to be a check raise to 2200. She's pushing towards the muck. Plays awfully quick, makes decisions very quick. Yes, she does. Don't know whether that's to her detriment or not. I think it could be. There's no deception in her pausing and waiting and looking. She just plays more ABC computer type of poker, at least in this cash game. Okay, on to Maria Ho who quickly folds, and now Barry with ace-king will make it 300. Kitty out. Right, yeah. Mike Nori Ooh. with the surprising three bet with pocket fives up to 1,200. Most of these small and middle pairs call in position, but it is good to mix in some three bets to keep your opponents on their toes. However, Barry here with ace-king gonna make Mike pay the price and four bets up to 3,400. First three bet, you never have it, right? Old guys always have it. Yeah. Old guys Why don't, don't bluff. I have it ever. You're only relatively old. He's just old, old. Everything's relative. Yeah. Yeah, I think Potato probably regretting that three bet there. He had such a nice hand to call in position. Quick fold by Kitty. Potato also out. Matt not going to play, but Paul the caterer with the pair of sixes makes it 300 to go. Yeah, Maria yeah. out and Barry once yeah. again with ace king. Yeah. So the two non professionals I mean, are going to compete. Barry's going to raise it up. Do you have it, Barry? I do. I'll show you if you want me. Mm, I got to pay for it. Okay, so we have action sixes versus ace king. I forgot what I had now. Oh, yeah. Jack 6-4 on the flop and a particularly lucky board for Paul as Matt Berkey folded the other six in the deck. And he may get some action here. Barry with ace king and the ace of spades, two over cards, backdoor straight and flush draw. He'll fire out 1,500. Paul can't believe it. Finally well out in front. He's been on the losing side tonight. This could be comeback time. Let's see the turn, five of diamonds. Doesn't change much, and Barry looks like he's still going to put in another bet. I don't love this bet from Barry. This five of diamonds really improves the range that Paul gets to the turn with. He's the one that has the suited connectors, the sets, more jacks. And so Paul will jam the remainder of his stack in here, just under 15,000 there. I like Paul's jam very much on such roughly, a dynamic board. Uh, nine, 10, in the event 13, that Barry has 14, a maybe, over pair, it would be tough for him to get away. I don't have such a good hand, but I'm <laughs> just say that again. betting that you don't have anything. Do you have your bag? And Barry with the ace king here seems to be considering it, but this strikes me as a particularly poor I'm hand so to call this me. jam with as anyway. he is blocking the ace high flush draws. He's, he is from LA. There's a little bit of theatrics in him. All right. Nice hand, sir. 
show the bluff. No, don't fucking show the bluff. <laughs> He's finally gonna get out of the way. The newest Real Money Online Poker Room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. All right, there is a look at our chips around the table. As we said, Matt Berkey, the big winner on the evening thus far, doing some bluffing. Won a big pot off of Paul Kuzmich when he backdoored Broadway. Blinds are 50 and 100 with a big blind Andy of 100 as well. Mike Nori opening our action with the five four hearts going up to 300. So Potato has raised. And we get a call by Matt. Barry will go away. Barry's Mr. Malibu from Malibu, California. Kitty, professional player out of Vegas, goes out as well. So two-way action. Sixes versus the 5-4. Flop is an ace, deuce, deuce, two hearts. Quite a flop for Mike Norrie's 5-4 of hearts. He bets 400, receives the call from Matt Berkey. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Mike continues the betting, and this one will drive Matt Berkey out. Yeah, the potato's 32 years old, lives in LA. Mixed game specialist. Says he got started playing poker after watching season one of the World Poker Tour. And that was two decades ago. Oh, I remember those years. It was appointment television on Wednesday nights. Don't get me. Maria Ho raises our straddled pot up to 500. Matt Berkey has the same hand in hearts. He will three bet to 2,000. Actually unbelievable that it's even gotten to this point. Maria Ho lives in Los Angeles, top professional poker player. If social media didn't exist as well, like people would have just taken it. So Maria will make this call. Heads up, and a king 10-10. Interesting flop for these two hands. Both players open-ended with a backdoor flush draw. And that will slow down and check this flop. Maria will check it back. 10 of clubs on the turn, quite an interesting card. Maria now with the open-ended straight flush draw, a royal flush draw, in fact. But Matt will start the betting for 2,500, trying to bluff his way out of this one. We know he's bluffing into essentially the same hand. Maria does make this call. And the eight of clubs on the river will give her a flush, but a difficult one to value bet following Matt's check as it is so easy for him to have a full house. So she will check behind and be happy to see that wow. Matt's queen jack is no good there. And Maria collects a nice pot. I had the tennis spades. Mike Nori admitting to folding quads. All right, action to Kitty. Quick fold by her into the potato. Potato out. And there is Paul Kuzmich, the Hollywood caterer, lives in Austin. And he's got a solid ace king and has raised it up. Barry getting in the mix with queen six offsuit. And he does outflop Paul here on 986 all clubs. Both players check this monotone board. King of diamonds on the turn. So now the caterer has kings. Barry with sixes. And the caterer will bet. Looks like 500. River card is a queen. That gives two pair to Mr. Malibu Barry. You guys might be neighbors. I think we are. And Barry will lead out with his river two pair for 1500 And you see that look of concern on Paul's face, sensing that this rivered queen improved Barry somehow, perhaps with jack-10, king-queen. We know it's queen-six, so he will call and get the bad news. Barry's queen-six rivers the superior hand. Uh, two pairs? 
Two pairs. For Barry Woods. So nothing really happening for Paul. He's going the wrong way, but Barry Woods looking good. I wasn't a coffee drinker for like the longest time, and then I finally caved, and now I'm coffee all the time. That's why I wasn't either. Yeah. Didn't drink coffee. Now we have a what the not the yeah I guess an espresso. espresso pods. There's one yeah. called the double espresso with Chiaro or something. It was one of the pods. Yeah. So make I make that every morning and with uh, like 12 ounces of milk and three sweet and little. So it's not really oh, having coffee, right, right. but it's, right. it's, I take that every morning. I'm quite the coffee addict myself, Vince. My morning does not start before I get my coffee. These are little details you just can't find out any other place than the World Poker Tour. Potato likes coffee as well. Yes, he does, and he likes his 10 of diamonds enough to call the three bet, and what a flop for his hand. The run bad for Paul continues here as he flops top pair, top kicker, but Mike Norrie, oh. bottom two pair. Cater is gonna get his finger burnt on the stove. Yes, he is. Mike Norrie will check raise up to 3,900. 10 behind Mike. Uh, nine, 9,500 ish. And Paul inquiring about how much Mike has behind. Not a good sign. All in. Call. Set. Call. He's gonna move no, all okay. in and an instant call from Mike Norrie. So we gotta show him now. So as we can see, Paul in bad shape here, but not drawing dead. He is 31% to win the twice hand. Now. They're gonna run it twice, so. Two times. Some possibility that Paul yeah. will improve. Well, they're gonna hedge their bets a little bit. You can't do this in a tournament. That's the beauty of a cash game. Now, deuce of diamonds on the turn for the first one, and a six of hearts, so Potato is gonna win the first one. We'll do it one more time. Queen of hearts and four of hearts, nice so time. Mike Nori will scoop the whole uh... thing. Paul's run bad continues here. No Nine, luck for the caterer. 13, 13, 575. But there is a rumor that he scored very big last night in Baccarat and Roulette, won some big numbers. Ooh, I can always root for someone against the house. He's getting out some more money, more chips. I just uh, pay out all my condo in Taiwan. And I said, like, I didn't know the rate is so low. It's like 1.3. Oh, that's right? it? Yeah. That's so low. Yeah. Get, get the loan back. You're getting raped here compared to that. Like, I, money it's like invested. 3 to 5%. All my friends say, like, why are you so stupid pay all your loan? I said, I didn't know it's so low. It's like free. Paul <laughs> raised up the queen nine of spades on the cutoff. Maria on the button right behind. Three vets to 1,800 with ace 10 and the 10 of spades. Barry and Potato go away. Paul, pretty desperate now, but they're gonna make this call and see a flop. Here it is, it's a Jack-Jack seven. Neither player connects, but Maria with the lead will continue the betting for 1,200. Now Paul does have a little piece here, three to a straight, three to a flush. Makes the call. He could mix and check raises as well. We saw Matt Berkey do something like that in an earlier pot where he rivered Paul. Ace on the turn. We'll lock up this pot for Maria. She'll check it back just in case Paul is slow playing a jack. Nine on the river. So that gives Paul nines. That's bad. Yeah, not a good river for Paul. He may end up calling a river bet for Maria now that he's improved. Let's see how Maria sizes this. It's 2,200. Well-sized bet. And the caterer, he's saying I made a bad meal here. This is not working out. I gotta look at it though, and you're not gonna like it. So there you go. So things working out there for Maria Ho. Yeah, Paul running bad early, getting a little sticky here on this river with the optimistic call on the river nine. Maria with the well-sized river bet to extract a little extra. Meow. Oh, then there's some cat talk here Getting by some Kitty. cat calls meow. over here, Vince. <laughs> meow is cool. The one meow. thing I needed to do on my phone, I didn't and, uh, do. Meow meow is a race, OK? Yeah. <laughs> Text your wife? No. <laughs> <laughs> so three ways going to this flop, and it is queen, 10, deuce. When are there going to be little Norries running around? Not anytime soon. How old are you? 32. Do you have a girlfriend? Wife. Wife? Yeah. Where's your ring? Uh, don't, don't say me. Yeah, <laughs> where's your ring? <laughs> I'm allergic. Allergic? You know, I buy like... She's uh, allergic to husbands. <laughs> right, yeah. 
No, I buy the Amos Julie, like it was a 14K the bracelet, right? Yeah. And I was in Taiwan to LA airport, I lost it. I'm not a person for the jewelry. I just lost all the stuff. 14K, I just buy in two days. And gone. gone. Yeah. So just buy the watch. Watch you never lose because the watch is too big. Yeah. Right? So the bet of 1600 from Maria to Matt, and he will make the call. Oh my goodness. Matt Berkey with the dream card on the river. Maria's hand does seem much too good to check here, so she will go for extra value. It is about half pot for 2,800. Matt is going to slide out a raise of 17,000. Never a good sign when someone just pulls a huge rack of chips out and indiscriminately cuts out a huge raise. Maria has to be concerned that she's run into a full house or King Jacks. She does get away there. Nice fold for Maria, recognizing that a full house or a King Jack better than her ace queen. So Matt Berkey continues his profitable ways. Okay, quick fold by Matt. And then we're into the caterer, is that a, uh, who is going to raise to 300 with King Five. Maria out. Barry's going to call. Mike Nori is in, and he flopped bottom set here on his deuces. Paul could be in trouble yet again. Top pair running into a set. Two pair again? Even worse, Paul. Two pair. That's a really good hand right now. Queen of diamonds on the turn. But it costs a lot of money. Now, Paul gonna check back, save himself some money here. And a jack on the river could also save him some money as there's now a four to a straight out there. So Mike will bet his bottom set for a thousand. Paul makes the call and receives the bad news. A king nine from the best. Wow. Paul minimizes the damage, checking back on the turn there. Nice hand. Thank you. Mike Nori has a World Series of Poker bracelet. $1,500 no limit hold'em game. Says he started playing poker after watching season one of the World Poker Tour. Mixed game specialist, pretty happy-go-lucky at the table. Well, Barry's gonna try to do it here with Ace, King of Diamonds, makes it 700 to go. Kitty with Jack, Nine of Clubs, making it 2,100. Barry has four bet Ace, King, some tonight, but just gonna call this time. And a King, Queen, Seven flop will give him top pair, top kicker. Kitty with a little piece here, gut shot, and a backdoor flush draw. She'll bet 1400 And Barry just going to call. Turn is the ace of clubs. So now that gives Kitty a four flush. Barry with a curious little donk bet here of 500 With aces and kings. And Kitty. Raises it up. That card really hits her range a little more than Barry's, but he just moves all in on her. So Kitty, with the disastrous result, trying to turn her hand into a bluff and with plenty of equity, but now faces a jam from Barry, who's reaching into the bag for his prop. Oh, wow. <laughs> he is gonna put that thing on. Honors the carrot top right there. He's flipping it around. Wow, versatile. <laughs> this is what happens when you get retired and you play a lot of poker. <laughs> <laughs> Give a meow in there. Meow. <laughs> oh, wow. Meow, meow. I'm alive. What's time, love? They get all you there. Oh, it's a bluff. Obviously, I'm not calling. I was a first time bluff, and I get that one there. Thank you for advice, know, sorry, Mark. Yeah. Can we see a river? Yeah. Can we see a river? Pain, max Torture. pain. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Pretty disastrous result for Kitty, who, <laughs> no, as it safe. turns out, would have missed, so at least there's that. First time I ever got a bluff. He always had it. Oh, those hands were supposed to be in the inverse. I was like, <laughs> The soaker on the tin car. <laughs> Kitty gonna get this episode an NC-17 rating. Wash your mouth out, young lady. I like the way Barry plays, puts a lot of pressure. Good, solid play. 
To all to me, I'm sorry. I don't want those solo people. I was like, f I was like, sitting there first time. But... People get so offended by slow rolls, and I'm, I never have been offended by that. Really? Why? Yeah, cause I, I don't. I mean, like, I would never do it, but I don't like if somebody wants to slow roll me, like. That's... Like, but for what? To what end? Like, I mean, it's for their own. Personal. Matt making the call to King Eight of Diamonds in position here, and we get a 10-7-4 monotone heart flop. Barry, the only one holding a heart, checks over to Matt. Who bets 200? Barry will make the call, of course. And we see the five of diamonds on the turn. Like, I don't agree with it, but I'm also, I don't get, like, I'm not going to be upset Potato by Potato discussing it. the slow roll. I, I, he says he doesn't I mean, mind when someone slow rolls him. Not, and a slow roll me, right. I will be very angry. Like, because I think the, 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 like, it shows more about their character than, like, your character. 800 like, like, from Matt that, over to Barry. Like, no, I agree, but just right, in general, like bad etiquette should not be, like, encouraged. Right, you know I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not encouraging, I'm just saying, like, right. And a three of spades on the river leaves both players with king high. No, but Matt that. needs to bluff his way out of this one to win yet again. I get that. I don't actually think I've ever been slow rolled before. Oh, so I, I just keep firing away at that, huh? Right. You call, call, call. Right. Barry reluctant to give up, but with just King High and blocking one of the cards that Matt would often use to bluff with, doesn't have a great hand to call with. Oh, this would be a heck of a call if you should make this. Yeah, I ate a 5K, okay? Yes, yeah. Kitty, out of 5K Kitty topping up an extra 5,000 during the hand. And Barry goes away, so Matt's bluff show one. gets through yet again. Well, I think everybody should have a turn of showing. Yeah. I've showed one. Everybody but Kitty. <laughs> I show two. Kitty shows two. She she shows two. two. Oh, I show two. two what are you talking yeah. about? I show two. Yeah. I have a so nice bluff and show two car. No, against me too. When we I waste our time three, first. <laughs> so you kind of owe us. Vegas with Matt Berkey, our big winner on the night, but Barry Woods not far behind. Mike Nori up 11 grand. Maria Ho up about five. Paul has been taking a beating tonight. And Kitty Kuo, who is in for 30,000, down about 15 grand for the moment. What about somebody like. Uh... Kristen Bicknell. Who's that? No, she's not Foxen. arrogant. Oh, he's a Blaine Kenny fan, right? Foxen's girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, the Crispy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Crispy? She <laughs> probably is cocky. I'm cocky too, anyway. Yeah, you might be number one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike out. Matt's going to call with a pair of fives. Paul. Taking a break. Maria Ho with the Ace King. Going up to 1,500 with the three bet. Barry out, Kitty calling, and Matt must see a flop. Here we go. Ace King, Ace Four, pair of fives. And the flop is an Ace Ten, Deuce. Two players hitting aces. We know Maria with a big kicker in front. Kitty also hitting aces. And let's see what Maria does. There's the bet. 2,000. And Kitty will definitely call this. Matt gets out of the way with the fives. Kitty really needs to Ooh. improve here. A five of diamonds does give her a gut shot to the three. Good looking board for Maria here. Continues to bet, this time for 4,000. Kitty can't get away. Looking for a three to hit a wheel, but a deuce on the river. Great looking card for Maria. Less concern about running to a set now. Well, she's gonna put in a significant 6,000. Kitty is stuck here tonight and she's gonna make a nice lay down. Gets away from there. Yeah. Really? And Maria Ho gonna take down the pot. I would appeal to Kitty folded. Now Kitty, <laughs> continuing to bleed here. Having just flown in, will add an extra 8,000 to her Amen. stack. Well, she has heart, she's not giving up yet. <laughs> Taking out Maybe more chips. Ready to gamble. The glutton for punishment. It doesn't really bug you, does it? Action no. going to Matt, the Vegas local. He's got a nice queen jack of hearts, makes it 300 to go. Paul behind it with ace king of hearts, has raised to 1,100. 
He needs a nice turnaround. Here's Barry with a seven of spades. He'll make the call. Yeah, Barry potentially getting himself in some trouble with this cold call on the button with a seven of spades. Paul dominating him with the ace king of hearts and Matt will come along with queen jack of hearts. So three ways to this flop of ace king queen. Wow, the caterer hitting top two. Barry gonna wish he didn't make that call pre-flop in a moment here. Facing a bet of 15.50 from Paul. Mr. Malibu with top pair making the call. Matt going away and it only gets better for the caterer. Now he's got kings full. And that's a rough card for Barry because he has to think that he is often chopping at worst with Paul. 1800 bet. Barry calling. Nice job from Paul here, keeping the bets small. Let Barry believe that he could potentially be good or chopping. Now with 10,000 in this pot on the river, how much does Paul want to bet? 6,200. So can Barry find the fold? Or will he be Paul's ATM? So we got rid of him. Coming back again. Can I borrow your bag? Now you're looking at to just have a guy have a king or a queen on beat. Problem is, could have had you beat. So double paired. That's right. The card might save some money. Well, I've been running on these things. I have to fold. Paul Kuzmich going to win that hand. And Kitty Kuo is going to call it a night. The newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. All right, so who's this guy that's coming in here? You know I've him? I've never, never met him. I don't even know who he is. Faisal, I don't know. All right, hello. Faisal, rocking the Tiger Woods red. We'll see if he can play like a champion. He's a businessman specializes in retail, jewelry, and survivalist stores. That's impressive. Survivalist? Yeah. Like outdoorsman. Uh, we, we took a we took a thing before you got here. You can only buy in for ten thousand. So. Oh really? <laughs> I need to get even. No, he needs to buy in for that. <laughs> you have to play exactly like how Kitty plays too. Yeah, no, yeah. no, you have to play the exact opposite of Kitty. Kitty didn't win a hand. She didn't win a hand. He says he's only been playing poker for two years, and wow. he started in Bobby's room. Oh man. Put it to you this way, Vince. The beginning of anyone's poker career is an education, and starting in Bobby's room is an expensive tuition. Did you guys all introduce yourselves? Because I don't, right? Yeah. Do you know? Oh, I'm oh, Barry. I'm, yeah, I'm Mike. Mike, okay. yeah. nice to meet you. Mike, Barry, Matt, Maria, okay. Matt. Murky, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Paul, Coos, whatever they Yeah. I don't hear Paul you that often. I know, I don't hear yeah. Mike yeah. that often either. They're probably going to make you move your shift because Oh, yeah, you got to put them over to this way. Like, yeah, you need your cards in front of this. Yeah, perfect. Or if you want to just show me, I'll put them in front of my hunter. OK, potato goes out. I think that's what Kitty did, and that's why she lost, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt Berkey, who's up the most at the table, oh. is going to raise with Jack-5. There's Barry Woods. We call him okay. Mr. Malibu. Just, I'm in the blind. No, I just yeah. do it. Sometimes you happen to be in the blind. Sometimes you, you, you have to be You do it every hand, so I should. You're not the only one. <laughs> he does it, too. Basil with a pair of jacks, not going to three bet. Taking a I passive check. approach early, and we get this ace eight five check. flop that gives both his opponents a pair under his jacks. Yeah, but Faisal's gonna check. Matt is gonna bet the fives. Six hundred. Barry calling with the eights. And Faisal's gotta be saying to himself, does one of these guys have aces? Do both of them have aces? But he doesn't care. He's getting out raising chips. What a strange approach to this hand from Faisal. His jacks are certainly worth a three bet preflop, but against two players on an ace high board, I don't know why he wants to check raise, and yet it's going to work out perfectly for him. He got action from Barry, and now Barry checking. So is Faisal believing that Barry has an ace or not? 
There he plans stubborn against the new guy, calling the check raise with second pair. No real redraw here. Basil doesn't care. He's going to bet it again. 2,300 as Barry goes away. One of one. Like, Not a bad start. One down. Yep. Both. Both. <laughs> and are we playing seven deuce? No. No. Oh, I should have showed it then. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, in the, like, mixed game world, like, you can be, like, do things that, like, make you perceive like you're giving action in, like, spots where, like, it doesn't really matter. And then, like, you know, people will think you're, like, you do, like, a couple How of many things, likes do, like, per sentence <laughs> does Mike Nori <Moore> use? <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Like, Sounds like a valley girl. Is, you know, it's continuing. Yeah. Right. Where, where, like, Potato is like, overthinking that, I think. A little yeah, flashback to Clueless for you. Your record's too good. You got to leave me alone. No! <laughs> I have to defend it. Faisal getting in the mix again with the king deuce of spades. And flopped bottom pair against Maria's 10-8. So Maria Ho with just a 10-8 will bet 300 Faisal with deuces here. Maria, you remember about sevens and deuces, right? Oh. Right, but like, okay, like here's the thing. Oh. We're not playing that this time. Making the raise. But you know how sevens are to me, right? <laughs> That's true. Faisal, captain check raise right off the bat. Okay, show one. Three of three. Who is this guy? Like, there can three be like, three, you know, work <laughs> oh, okay. I show it to you. That's good. Flash is a deuce. I imagine Maria I had two overs. leaves yet a stronger hand than just bottom like pair. All the same. Round of straddles is good. Faisal on fire so far. Kitty left that seat, and now it's warmed up. Yeah, I can't imagine Kitty playing quite so loose aggressive from what we saw earlier. Basil has a different gear to him. Eight. Here's Mikey. That said, Faisal has big shoes to fill when it comes to entertaining table talk. Kitty might be the best in the game. Now there is Paul Kuzmich, the caterer for Hollywood films. Tagging along after straddling. He's got queen, jack, and diamonds, and the flop is a king, 10, deuce, so he's open-ended. Good for Paul, open-ended. Matt gets none of that. Mike will bet. The potato has bet again. But the caterer loves this one. He's gonna make this call, hope to catch. Oh, and he turns a pair that gives Mike the nuts. Bad card for Paul here. Are, like, it's harder to tell, like, We've seen that he gets a little sticky like, with pairs on these be, boards, so this could end up costing him, better, facing about a 2,400 from like, Mike. Not as light. And Potato continuing the conversation across the table. That's sort of a tell, trying to, like, act disinterested. We know otherwise. The caterer is going to pay off the potato right there, and seven helps no one but the potato. Still with the nuts. Sticking a bet of 8,700. Going full pot here. Big bet from Mike. Paul with just second pair here. Should find a fold, but he likes to see it. cards, so he's going to make this call nice one. and get the bad news. I pulled a 10 5 suited once, and I felt wow. bad about it. That is so rigged. <laughs> I know. Well, Paul, the caterer, has been taking his hits, and it's going to continue. Sometimes when you're stuck and things aren't running well, you're going to play a little looser, try to get your money back in a cash game, right. and it's not working out. Can't so get your money back by folding, can you? Right. I'll make it a little bit more interesting for you guys, since Kitty was not. Yeah, there you go. Basil opening up the game with a double straddle, 400 to get in. So Paul with king-queen will raise to 1,300. I don't know if you could see that. That was like a. I think I was the only one who saw it. He I had his head it. down. I didn't see it. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I think he could have seen it, but I know for sure you didn't see it. It was just a paint card. Yeah. I, I couldn't make out what it was. Or queen of hearts. Okay. Yeah, just say it. That's fine. Okay. See, there's either Jack or Queen of Hearts exposed. Do you want to take your bed back? Or... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of information, right? Can I double it now? <laughs> you can. Faisal wakes up with Ace King in the double straddle. I'll give you an option to double it down. He's going to move it up to 39 total. 
thousand back, yeah. And the caterer. Thirty-nine for that. Paul is gonna call this with his king queen, another big pot. And the flop is a ten five deuce, two spades. So Faisal not hitting there, but Neither did Paul, and let's see, Faisal like gonna make a bet of 15.50. Not a bad flop for Faisal's hand. I can see that. With the two back doors, the overcards, holding the ace of spades. Paul should find a fold with no spade on this flop, but getting a little stubborn, like we said, can't win by folding. Ace on the turn. How much are you playing with? Are those five 30, I'm only a little over 30. Drinker, so I Inquiring about how much Paul is playing. Right. Well, you don't sit around the apartment. Just, I'm definitely right. a social. Faisal, yeah, exactly. playing good, running good, hitting the aces, putting out another bet, 45-50, and Paul has had enough. He How many times now? But he's a good sport. Doesn't show too much emotion. Faisal just on fire right now. Oh, you're right about that. Paul, gentleman at the table, even on a night where things haven't gone his way, spirits are high. Awful. It's not good. Doesn't play well against kings, and I knew you had kings, so. Yeah, sure. Well, Paul <laughs> is going to straddle and this one. Maria quickly that. goes out. Barry Woods not going to play. Faisal on the button here with a nice looking queen eight of spades. Just going to limp in. Tato goes out. Did you order? Some junky hands in the blinds. No, we'll get to the flop, and it is right. king jack three. Rainbow with a spade. Decent flop for Faisal to start the betting on. He's going to have a lot more kings and jacks than his opponents, but he'll just check back here. Paul's got a piece of it with a three, and now Paul's got three of a kind here. Man, I don't think so. Paul's passive tendencies continue, checking trips to someone who is checked behind on the flop. Faisal will start the betting over pot for $1,000. It's a very rare occurrence when I can say I've drank more than Paul, so I'm ready. let me <laughs> Well, he's got a four flush. He's got position. He has bet it now. All right, get him, Paul. I would expect a check raise here. All right, Paul is after me. Uh -oh. Straight. No, after he just straight. calls. This could be a mistake. Yeah, he's Which is not going to break. And he gets his flush. What a card for Faisal. And on a board where Paul is going to have to pay him off. Oh, I can't yeah. imagine folding trips here. Good non-check raise, Paul. <laughs> Gonna save some money. I mean, this is very, very callable. Go. Yeah, you gotta call this at this point. And actually, you saved about seven grand, in my estimation. So nicely done, Paul, to nice get up. away with that. Faisal is making everything work for him. Does that happen to you guys, like whenever you go the first time somewhere, you always win? No. No. <laughs> we're like, no clue what that yeah, feels like. <laughs> the WPT cash game is on fire right now. Yeah. I've seen other people do it, but just not me, you know? Please come yeah. to the table. That, that is a thing confirmed. Straddle didn't go on? No, 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 we were just playing one round, so you oh, can. Okay. I have straddling issues. Uh... Oh, anybody and as I watch oh, him limp oh, four deuce like on the cutoff, whoa, 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 I'm whoa, starting whoa, to see whoa, why whoa, Bobby's room yeah. wanted him in there. <laughs> Paul with king eight in the big blind will check and we'll get four ways to the flop. And it is four, three, twos for Faisal. But Mike with the seven, five of diamonds has a straight and a flush draw with two overcards. Unbelievable. Matt Berkey does have a piece here with middle pair and a gut shot to the top straight. Paul goes out and let's see the turn. It's a six and that's gonna hit potato where he wants it. Hits the nut straight, flush draw. You name it, Faisal with two pair, Matt with sixes and threes as well. I like this big raise from Mike. If one of his opponents has the five, he gets to charge them a ton of money to stay in the pot. Should bet 5,000 if you have a five, right? No? 4,000 for a four then? Uh, just four? Ah, it's a really nice hand. You want to see or you want to wait six months? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm. I had you crush. Me? Yeah. Oh. Four three? No, six, six, four. six, six four. three. Uh, six three. How good are you, <laughs> Barky? Either. <laughs> you yeah. have the nut nut. Yeah. Like, wow. Wow, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> super nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I folded the pre-flop five six. I'm glad I wasn't in there. I saw the flop, I'm like, oh, the day is good today. I was just talking about it, right?
scary thing is going to happen when it's an unraised pot. A lot of players yeah. splash in, and anything, they could have anything. It's hard to so put them on a hand. I'm not sure why I'm familiar with, but right. I knew your name. So I've seen a lot of right. people go broke in cash games when it's an unraised pot. I thought I saw Barry Woods in like a movie or something. That's what I think. The uh, movie I did was before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody mistaken Barry for a movie star tonight. That's the same thing Kitty said earlier. Actually, back in the day, he did a little movie with Burt Lancaster and Judy Garland. No wow. matter who sits in that seat, they just give you shit for your age, though. It's like, how do you feel about that? Hi. <laughs> Kitty, you you missed it. Before you got here, Kitty uh, Kitty went straight in on one. Yeah, I ripped into Barry for sure right away. I, I have no problem with it. He does have a good movie star look. Yeah, he has a great presence at the table. So three ways to this flop, and it is jack nine, four, two spades. Mike with a massive draw here, and he tend and he spade, and he king queen. Randall Emmett table. Faisal no, with just six high, morning, so he's, has nowhere to go but out. Mike is gonna quickly take that one down, so he's starting to run real well. I like draw games, probably no limit single draw, but we play it in the mix with a cap, which makes it kind of less interesting. I don't like a cap one. Right. It seems it's, like the only point of that game is- Is to be on cap. To be able to snow, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so like playing no limit single draw tournaments is, really fun because there's like a lot of cool things you can do and the cadillac of poker if you will right <laughs> exactly oh for sure it is matt going up to 300 here with six four on the button paul will three bet ten nine suited from the small blind i like paul taking the initiative here we've seen some pretty passive play from him so i like him amping it up with this nice hand pre but look at this maria ho undeterred by the aggression from paul will four bet a six of diamonds and Paul makes the call. So 8,000 in this pot going to the flop. Nobody really holding a premium hand, but they are suited. That's right. And ace, four, four on the flop. That's good for Maria. Not good for Paul. He just can't catch cards tonight. He's going to check. Good for Maria, but in this bloated pot where it's going to be very hard to get value from Paul unless he has a pair, I'd like to see Maria check back. Let him catch up in some way. But she'll bet there, hoping that Paul had something he could call with, and he'll just get out of the way. I'm gonna call it 6-4. Kick them when they're down, take the pot when you can. Six players competing in a good one on the WPT Cash Game. Mike Nori and Matt Berkey are big winners for the moment. Maria Ho also doing well. There you go, four is available for you, Maria. I'll do it since a lot of you guys and Look have been at this. Doing that. Oh, we have got a series of straddles going on here. Okay. Barry going for the triple straddle up to 800. Okay. No button straddles. No button. No it's button too straddles. Too, it's too, too much. I'm taking my 100 bet. Basil going to the quadruple straddle up to 1600. So every player in this hand has blind money out yeah. there. Button straddles should be f***ing outlawed. I think this is okay in this situation. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Berkey, really? winding up a storm about this button straddle. I don't know why you would want to stop Faisal from putting money in the pot from what we've seen of him tonight. They have the option to open. They were well, in the best position. No winner should complain. Yeah, you know? he should lighten up on this one. You want to spot them the button 100% of the time now? Come on, this guy is hardly angling to get an edge here. He's limping four deuce suited. I mean, tone it down. Yeah, it's on Barry. Well, I think Barry's saying that, so. Or he might be just steamed from the bluff side. Right? <laughs> you had the no. best hand. No way. Yeah. yeah, you had the best hand. You weren't bluffing. Oh, my steaming. Yeah, you even had me dominated. I like Queen 10. Just the stone cold nuts. Well, Barry here. It's gone up to 4,800. Paul with Barry. Queen 10 of clubs. 32 to call. What? I was going to do the bag for him. I think you should still do the bag. Like, don't I don't think you can do the you. bag it's with just the pre flop sold race. It already, so. Are you putting the call or fold side on? Oh, Faisal hasn't seen this, the bag yet. He should no, probably put it on. No, um, the people showed me. Barry yeah, came here with a bit. prop. You've been warned. What's Barry again? Why do you keep putting it in your book bag? I yeah, mean, like, you I know you're going to use it again. Your, yeah, sit on it or something. Yeah, I mean, this exactly. should be way more available. Don't okay, as it says, call. 48? 48. 48. Paul's going to call this with the queen ten of clubs. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Should I play with the bag on? 
All right, if Where you are ask, I mean, you, you made see? eye holes for a reason, right? Yeah, okay. So, like, okay, why yeah. not? Why not? <laughs> and finally, Paul, with some good luck here, flops top two in this bloated it's pot. It's, it's check to me. Yep. Yeah. The board is queen of hearts. Oh, I can see. Plus, I can see the board. Ten of hearts. Okay, just trying to make sure. You can't see Paul. Oh, Maria's way nicer. I was gonna lie. Bag on his face, reaching for yellow chips. How much is he gonna bet? Do you know what color so chips? <laughs> yeah, do you know what color chips you grabbed? You just say a number, probably. Yeah, I feel like that's the safe play for sure. Yeah. Seventy-seven. Okay. Barry's gonna bet seventy-seven hundred here, and Paul loves his position now. All in. And he's gonna go all in. I don't have much more. Probably about six more. Yeah, it's a little bit more than that. It's about that. close to seven thousand more. Barry has just jack five in his but hand. But he only had call on, so he made all in. 14, five and a quarter. Barry's actually considering oh. this. I mean, as we can see, he's almost he's drawing dead here. He needs yeah. to go runner, runner, hearts, wow. or runner, runner, straight. Do it. Once or twice, sir. Twice is good. And they elect to run it twice, yeah, so maybe if Barry you, can pull no, a miracle please. here, he can win half the pot, but as you we can see, just yeah, I'm pretty much dead. No, he I needs a lot to happen. Turn him over, I mean, right? No, I don't turn it but over. he almost <laughs> mucked his hand <laughs> here. Well, oh, you I can like fold it, it then. <laughs> yeah, just muck it. Just run, just run so it Barry twice. needs runner, runner straight, or runner, runner flush, and that nine of diamonds creates the possibility. Come on, come on, do it one time. Deuce, and so Paul will win the first half. He needs to hold here daughter. to win this big pot. Oh King again, God. very oh, open-ended. Really? Oh, no. And an ace, oh, he will God. win half the pot. <laughs> Paul cannot catch That's a brutal. break. Yeah. That's just. It's been that kind of day for me. Yeah. <laughs> Paul recognizes it's been that kind of day. That is a miserable thing to hap happen. <laughs> Your hand was uh, so live. That is so brutal. Wow, you, you could have run two more. You could have ran two, we could have won oh, two more. Yeah, you almost just... scooped. Yeah. Barry Woods, baby. Jesus, Paul. Mike Norrie slurring his words. I'm going to stick my money in drawing next to dip. Just a disaster if you're Paul. So about Like you said, of one deck. of those nights. Right. And now there's right. no straddle. And, and he was not stone dead on either, right. either run. It's a super live. And action's on Barry. He goes out. I think the That's gambling gods are like running against me now. After, last, after, after last your, night. After your Baccarat and roulette session? Yeah, you, you or, won, sorry. You won well, there you go. Something, so They're so bringing so up the fact that he win, scored yeah, big in a Baccarat game last night. All right, I'm playing with this the rest of the night. Yeah, that appeared to like work out for you in some way. Yeah. You know, he put it on and said call. It's like. Okay. <laughs> and then you drill the flop. Oh. I saw a flop. I mean, did you We've you got a raise by Faisal. He gets yeah. two calls and a flop of ace, king, ten. <laughs> Faisal. I just realized. Hitting top pair. And they all go check, go into the turn. It's a jack of diamonds. So now Faisal, top pair, and a four flush. Matt also with a flush draw. Faisal. Checks it over to Matt. He'll bet 500 with the four high flush draw. He had better not hit a diamond on the river. That would get expensive. Just calls. Case is a queen out there. Someone has a queen, but a diamond does not appear. Seven of hearts on the river. And Matt kind of forced to try and bluff his way out with four high here, but man, Faisal hates folding. He is a bad target to bluff, so this bluff from Matt Berkey does not get through. You're supposed to victory spread four high. I did. No, victory spreads like this. Oh. Like I'll right in front of you, so like. I don't even do that with winning hands. Right. <laughs> I didn't even know that was called victory spread. When you play mixed games, you Yeah, know, I think that's a mixed game. Game thing, yeah, not for sure. Really it's not a, it's not a null limit holdup. It looks like Mike Norrie could be doing his own victory spread as he currently sits on the top of the leaderboard. The newest Real Money Online Poker Room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar.
Well, Paul, our caterer from Hollywood, is stuck the most. I don't mean to say that he's a bum. He's certainly not. He's a good player that's running bad. Then we have five winners at the table, Tony. You're right, Vince. He has run so bad tonight. Brutal flops, bad run outs. Just not a lot Paul could have done to have a winning session tonight. OK, the blinds are 50 and 100. Here we go. Matt will raise it up to 600 with King-10. Yeah, there was a straddle by Mike. Now, let's see, a couple folds around to Barry, who's called, and Faisal, no raise. That is Potato, Mike Nori, who has not stopped talking or winning. And the flop's a King-5 deuce. Matt with top pair. Check. 600 is the bet from Matt. Neither of his opponents have much. Barry Woods, Mr. Malibu, goes out. I have a lonely purple. I'll give it away. <laughs> he has a backdoor draw here, so he wants to see the turn. Check. Check, check on the turn. Matt going to give Faisal a chance to try and bluff him on the river. Faisal going to take the bait. No, he'll check down as Jack High. I'm not really sure how Faisal planned to win this pot, calling with Jack High on the flop and not bluffing it on the river, but he'll save money here as Matt would have never folded. He bets 2,000 with his top pair. And not much for Faisal to do now, but get out of the way. So Matt Berkey, yeah. playing poker for 19 years professionally, yeah. 10 WPT caches, no final tables yet, but he is well respected. Takes down that pot, and we move on. There's going to be a straddle by Matt. Straddle of 200. The caterer goes out. Maria Ho now, ace jack. And she will make it 500 to go. She's made two WPT final tables. 35, I think. Mike with the queen nine of hearts makes the call. So heads up against Maria and her ace jack. Whatever, it's 11 years ago. <laughs> Mike has been talking there. a mile a minute for a while now. He's running a marathon over there. He checks on this jack nine eight flop yeah. that gives Maria a top pair with a redraw to the nut diamonds. Mike is connected pretty well here. Middle pair. I got dangerously close and then lost a bunch of weight. Quite a turn card from Mike Nori wow. here. Turns the straight as the flush redraw to go with it leads right out for a thousand. Maria recognizing that her hand has changed dramatically with that turn, folds with no outs on the river. I'm just gonna put it on the top, okay? Yeah, uh, how many times has Mike, also known as bottom. Potato, yeah. hitting straights tonight here, about four or five times on score. pretty good pots? You gotta play golf. I play golf. He is a mixed game specialist. Yeah, you got a shot then. He says he loves golf and fantasy football. And he was making the point that golf is the best gambling game because of the handicap. Yeah, you shoot from the girls' team. So. <laughs> Everyone has a chance with a, a proper handicap. No amount of handicap gives me a chance at golf, Vince. No, I'm going to disagree. Yeah. I mean, even if you shoot Seven. an average of 110, it sounds like maybe I'd have to give you 20 strokes, you know, but right? It makes things even. At least. <laughs> at least. There's A, B, C, and D golfers, so it doesn't matter. He a chance to flop a set there. I'm not sure why he didn't gamble a little bit. There's why do you just really assume that I'm golfers. bad, though, also? Because I'm, I'm, I'm in the bad, bad group. <laughs> yeah. But you're not even the worst. Like, there's okay. way worse golfers. Maria way worse. comes along with queen nine offsuit, and it is nine, eight, four, two clubs on the flop. So top pair for Maria and Mike. Just a gut shot with some backdoor draws for Faisal. But he'll continue betting here. And he bets huge, 3,000 into 2,300. And Mike shockingly folds top pair, king kicker with the backdoor spade draw. I have no idea why he did that. Oh, that is surprising. Maria is going to call. Yeah, Maria knows better than to fold top pair with redraws, especially against Faisal. King of clubs on the turn, so Mike would have had top two pair. Both Maria and Faisal pick up a club flush draw. All right, Maria, I show a white flag. And he does check. And a deuce of clubs on the river. Both players make their flush. 
Maria checking over to Faisal, hoping to entice him into bluffing. All right, check. Good check. I'm the worst. See, this is why speech plays so good, because when he says, not anymore, I'm like, oh, check. And Potato <laughs> saying that he's the worst. I mean, he might have jammed him out of there on the turn when he hits his two pair. How do you have a pip above there? I ace queen suited. Right. I, Mike Nori. You limped ace queen suited. No, I what do you, I five x. Having a spotty memory, forgetting oh, who raised in the pot. That's why I said, how did you I win? I thought three. you were a limper. I thought no. he raised. See, I think he would have played it differently different had he remembered that you five x. Oh my god. I was like, I just have over pairs there. That's, that's why I gave your check raise credit. Right. I thought he was the raiser and I called and you called. I was like, you're going to have so much random f there that, like, oh my god. You can just ask me next time. I'll tell you. Yeah. I, if you were the 5 xer I wouldn't have. I would've yeah, he limped, you limped, right. I made it 1,000. Right. And then went, call, 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 call. Sometimes the wrong information can make you money. When two yeah, wrongs make right. a right, yeah, yeah. then. Yeah. It does happen from time to time. Basil well, going up to call. 600 with the ace four of hearts. Barry will call with eight seven of diamonds. All right, two players, we will go to the flop. It is an ace seven six. For some reason, I thought it was so, limp. Aces for Faisal. Five X, call, call, call. Sevens for Barry Woods. I that, totally backwards. That would be impossible. Sense. Right, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was thinking. Just genuinely impossible. Barry likes it. We'll call it. And the turn card is a jack of hearts. Wow. <laughs> totally backwards. Well, Barry needed his hand to improve on the turn. This is why I can't win on TV. So a check. <laughs> Faisal also checking, going to the river on this one. And a nine of diamonds on the river. Will Barry try and turn his pair into a bluff or just check it down? Yeah, I get f***ing <laughs> brutalized. Looks like he's content to check it down. Hope that his seven is good. Faisal trying to get a little extra here, $600. And that's the right amount to get called by Barry's weak pair. Basil continues his winning ways. He's been on a heater ever since he <laughs> sat down. Pair straight draw flush draw, no. Yeah. Barry Wood seems to be getting a little tired. Yep. He is a semi-retired businessman. Yeah, yeah, he was in the contracting world. And now he lives in Malibu, but he does seem like, you know, he was a little more aggressive early on. He had a little more energy. Right. Maybe the drinks got to him a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's the hour. But he's still winning. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Yeah, I know. Paul, the night's just starting. I think it was like 3 or 3.30 before I saw my pillow and was up at 6. Oh, Chate said you were like, just like you were up at, like you guys were 20 tequila shots deep and you were up at 6 a.m. like nothing happened. Well, it's, I get up early every day. Yeah, that's not me. Well, I mean, when I drink a lot, I sleep like but. Yeah. You sleep late like No, 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 I don't sleep late. No, 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 I, I sleep like, so like if I don't drink and I'm like normal, I'm like eight, nine hours easily. If I drink, it's like three to four hours max. I feel like I've heard Mike Norrie's life story twice. It would be a right. fascinating book, you know, like if you ask me. Find out his sleeping like, patterns and his like eating so patterns. Like, it would be just like great that. stuff. Basil going up to 700 with a six of hearts. Mike with you the seven six helps, of diamonds. There's a certain point where you it doesn't drink matter. so much where it's not it's a 700. <laughs> is going to call. I like a chatty game, but yeah. sometimes it goes over the top. So heads up between <laughs> these two, sharing outs. And it is queen 10 six. They both hit their six. Faisal in the lead with DA six. And he'll bet six. Mike makes the call. Continue to a five of clubs turn. Let me checking, confirm it. Checking yeah. for a Let club. me confirm it. Okay. You for sure don't no, have two clubs. No, not checking it, confirming it. You don't have two clubs, that's a for no, sure. Not the, not, I don't have two clubs, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you I'm wouldn't check your hand clubs. if you had two clubs. No. You would check if you have one club. No, I, I usually overbet when I have something like that. Well, last time you overbet, you had, well, yes, Maria. You guys can actually play and not discuss how you're going to play. <laughs> <laughs> Evaluating the game as it goes along. Just doing it for the TV. TV's overrated. Basil bets 800, Mike calls. Very thin value bet that's gonna work out for him. Nine on the river. Check. One pair. One pair. Really good kicker. 
What do you want? So Faisal will collect another nice pot. I knew you didn't have two clubs. Oh, yeah. It's good to say after you see it, right? I knew when he said one pair, two, I was dead. <laughs> well, yeah, you didn't have a good pair. I mean, like, you could have had a five. That's true. You're both quite sheepish. Deuces. Yeah. All right. And we like move nine. on. We have a straddle by Paul. <laughs> true. Maria looking down at Cowboys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Raising to 500. Barry right behind. Going to splash around with 10-8 offsuit here. Flicks in a call. Yeah, Barry's been tough tonight. Has a lot of gears in his game. He's got bluff. He's got the paper bag, too. It's a prop that he brings in that he throws over his head at times, which is interesting. Bad board for Barry here. Wow, he hits top pair. Maria with the big over pair, of course. Yeah. Barry might think he's in front. Is that the same place as this? Yeah, it's yeah, bigger. it's 51 Take plus. Us. Yeah, it goes 51 to a lot. So he's going to call this for 600, yeah, going to the turn. And an eight hit, so that gives two pair for Barry. Have you guys played before? No, no. but I've Just seen totally. enough in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is how I play tight. So just think about it, how I play tip. Yeah, without a whole card camera. Yeah, without my dad looking at it. Yeah. He's going to go with the call. And she had a snap called in there, but a jack on the river doesn't change too much. Will Maria bet it? Yeah, 3,200. And that jack on the river might make Barry a little cautious about raising. He loses the jack 10 now. He loses the jacks. Tens. Yeah, so he just calls and he wins a good one against Maria Ho. Sure, yeah, Jack Ten. Perhaps a little too cautious there, but either way, he collects a very nice pot. Didn't he say it was like the first time he had ever played online or something? Like that's yeah. what he said. Right. In the yeah, it was. right. Right. That's, that's cool. I love that. Right. Mike going up to eight hundred here with Ace Jack. Over to Maria yeah, with ace three of diamonds. Like, just... It's the dream. Right. She will make the call. I mean, that's what makes poker great. Barry with exactly. ace three of hearts in the straddle. Also makes the call. And it is eight, five, deuce, two hearts. Great flop for Barry here. Ace high flush draw. Wheel out to the four, and it is the four of hearts, the gin card for Barry Woods. That gives Maria a wheel, but Barry the nut flush. Maria fires out 1,500. Yeah, she's in first position, and Barry can either just call and disguise the strength of his hand, which he does very nicely there. Maria must think she's in front still. Ten of diamonds, great card if you have the high flush, of course. Maria with a straight. She's a sitting duck. And Maria's going to bet 3,000 here. Of course, Barry will raise, and Maria will have a tough decision. Of course, she has a very strong hand with a wheel, but considering Barry didn't raise her in that previous pot with two pair on the river when Maria had kings, you got to think that Barry only river raises with nutted hands. I'd love to see Maria make a disciplined fold here, but I certainly wouldn't blame her for calling. And she will make this call, so Maria going to be frustrated to see that her wheel is no good. Barry, with the ace high flush, nice going to win a pot with over 21,000 in it. Barry Woods. Thank you, folks. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Tip your servers. Maria taking it well. Big winner, Barry Woods. <laughs> Did I got to lose some, like, <laughs> Matt, so. Action's back. On Matt Berkey now in another straddled pot. He's got the 10-7 of spades. 500. Five, 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 yeah. 500. 500 to go. Maria dropping out with king four of clubs. Barry out with queen seven. Faisal, jack eight of hearts. He's not going to give up here. He's in. And Mike Norrie calls with king 10. Three ways to the flop. And it is queen jack three. So Faisal makes middle pair, but Mike with the open ender to Broadway. Yep, the potato. Beautiful flop for him. See if he connects. He does ace on the turn, so 
The potato hitting another top straight here. He has been straighting up all night. That's 500. A Faisal with just third pair, a weak kicker, and no redraw. I think he should get out of the way here, but we've seen him be very sticky in these pots. And ooh, that eight of spades on the river could be big trouble for Faisal. He seems apt to overvalue his hand and already puts too much money in with this $4,000 bet into 2,600. I mean, he loses to straights, he loses to two pairs. Mike makes it 18-7. Huge raise. Sensing that Faisal has something he really likes. This would be... Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, no. Faisal. Nice I think he could have gotten away from 16? that. Mike wins one of the biggest pots of the night with over 40,000 in the middle holding the nuts. The wheels are coming off on Faisal, if you ask me. Nice the newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. back here in Las Vegas for the WPT cash game. Mike Dory out in front winning 71,000. Everything going right for him. Well, if you asked me 10 years ago or whatever, would I have this many Luxor trips in front of me? I would have said, you're crazy. <laughs> if you asked me at the start of the session if you would have had that many Luxor trips in front of you, I would have said, you're crazy. Right, I, I agree with you, too. Uh, now, Mike Dory started from the bottom. Now he's here. Not a whole lot of hands left here, either. They got to wrap up the game. Now, Barry with a pair of queens raises to 16. Maybe they'll start inviting me to private games. Paul with the <laughs> ace four. <laughs> what do you think, Berkey? Yeah, you can play. Yeah. He's going to make the call. And it is queen 10-8. Very flopping top set. But Paul, not much to continue with here. Barry gonna play it slow. He checked back top set. Seven on the turn. Still not much for Paul here, but he is gonna take the bait and do some bluffing. He bets 1,600. Check induced him. He's desperate, he's losing, and now? 6,000. Uh-oh. Trap snaps shut. Barry up to 6,000. Paul quick fold. I think Barry got as much as he could there with that check back on the flop, though. Hard for Paul to put many chips in that one with just ace high. Yeah, just a couple hands left. Like, Maria, you don't want a double title? No, I'm good. Last Thank two you. hands. Come on. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm so tired that I'm. And she's fading. This is way past my bedtime, guys. I woke up at six in the morning. 6 a.m. I'm super boring these days. Like That is not why I got into poker, Vince, to wake up at 6 a.m. Catch me five years ago, different story. 33-year-old right. Maria is way different than 38-year-old. Definitely. All right, three ways to this flop. Matt with the best-looking hand, holding 6-5 of diamonds, but Faisal with 10-8. And Paul, jack-3, the only one making a pair. On 9, 3 deuce. Turn 3, Paul makes trips. Matt with the gut shot. 300. We'll fire out 300. All want to build a pot or just call and get to a river. He's going to raise up to 1,100. He's saying I'm stuck 80,000. I'm not going to do it just by calling. And Berkey not going to continue. So Paul gets a little bit back here, but still been a pretty rough session for the caterer from Austin. He's handling it with grace, though. So is this the last hand or the next hand is the last one? No, this is the last one. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so he was the first I hand. I don't get it twice. Then we got to go eat. Yes. You notice that the, the biggest winner, Potato, uh -huh. definitely clocked that it was the last hand. Yeah. I'm playing the last hand. He's ready to call it an evening. Take the money and run. Mm. Well, Paul Kuzmich is still in there. Good sport. Desperate to hit something. Here's the flop nine, three, eight. So, 
Faisal with eight. Four flush for Matt. Paul with threes. And Matt will bet, make it 1,500. Uh, so the last hand is going to be big, huh? Faisal, middle pair. Wants to keep going against Matt. Turn seven of spades, and so Matt Berkey is going to win the last pot of the night with a flush. How much can he extract from Faisal? He's going for 2,000. Faisal, oh no, oh no. I thought he was gonna cut out a raise. Faisal, if he folds here, can stop the bleeding. All right. Don't wanna go home, a loser, so. And he will. Matt will take it, and it is a wrap oh, on this set. Only one player that lost, and that is the caterer, Paul Kuzmich. Everybody else winning an exciting, talkative cash game. So it looks like Mike Nori, they call him Potato, the big winner. He is walking away with the most cash in the potato sack tonight.